Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. It's so lovely to be here, especially on a day like today. The sun is shining. I've got Hayley in my ear. She's saying hello, everybody. This is Head of TV, Hayley. So uh, me and Joe are a bit um, on edge, aren't we? We've got to do some work today. We've got to. Uh, we can't be chatting and gassing like we normally do. So. Um, of, of course, with social distancing, uh, Hayley's actually upstairs, so she'll be upstairs, you'll probably be able to hear her at some point, um, banging her feet from upstairs, and Joe's in the gallery to the side of me, so it, we are still, you know, doing everything that we can to be on air as safely as possible, but bringing you the most amazing products. Uh, we are still doing our very, very best to get new products in as well, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Some new products that have come back in stock that are back today, which are really, really exciting. I'll, I'll show you those in a second. But first, as we always do, should we start with our early bird? Now, for anybody who has set their alarm, especially for the early bird, you're about to get the most incredible saving on a really lovely pair of scissors and a scissor keeper. So you do get the scissors included in this. You have the beautiful little, little leopard print uh, keeper, detailed embroidery snips, and they are sharp to the point. The price point that you're going to see does not sort of reflect the quality of the scissors you're looking at. They're really, really lovely. And I'm thinking, you know, these are so handy just to have by your sewing machine, whether you're trimming threads, whether you are um, just snipping into curves, you know, if you're a dressmaker or a bag maker and you just want to make that really fine little snip, they are really beautiful, cross stitch embroidery. It's just handy to have a nice little pair of scissors. Um, not very often, actually, do you see, at the price point that we're gonna do as an early bird special, scissors like this with a scissor keeper, um, especially anywhere near the price we're going to do. They're like a, an, I want to say like a, a, an antique silver. They're not sort of, um, they're not like highly polished. They do look like they've been passed down through generations. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I do like the attention to detail as well, having it with such a modern uh, metallic leopard print scissor keeper. Now, of course, you can take it off that, but it's nice to just have it, especially if you're on the move. I'm thinking anyone who's doing some EPP, maybe out in the garden. I know uh, Kat, who who works as one of our, our cameras and director directors here, uh, she, she loves her EPP. So these are handy just to have for on the move, aren't they? Now, they are today's early bird. You have seen them before. However, it's a bit of a difference. Even if you don't need a pair, if you've already got embroidery scissors, we thought let's do something really, really special to make it unmissable for everybody this morning. So not only are you getting one pair, in fact, actually, before we go anywhere on price, I want to show you elsewhere, very, very famous department store. Um, you can get the exact same pair of scissors. They're out there. This is a live comparison right now. You can buy these online for £6.50. £6.50. Good price, isn't it? Especially when I say they're lovely quality. They're in the scissor keeper. But we want to do something very, very special this morning. I've got Head of TV producing, so of course she's going to have uh, raided through the stock and found you some beauties. This is going to be brilliant. For anybody who is uh, new to us every morning, the very first product, you are always going to get a brilliant, brilliant saving. We want you to open your order and stay with us all day. Remember, only one PMP all day. So, are you ready? We're expecting these to sell out today, and we are not getting any more. So this is your opportunity today. Are you ready for the steal of a price? If you want these today, go on with the graphics, Joe. £5.98, so it's less than the price comparison, but I haven't told you, you're getting two of these. You're getting two for that price. So the other one hasn't arrived yet from the warehouse, so we've just got to imagine that you're going to get two of these. Two scissors, two scissor keepers for less than £6. But that is a price point that will mean they all sell out. So, I mean, my math isn't great and I can even work out that's less than three pounds a pair of scissors. Uh, that's two pounds 99 for your scissors and scissor keeper. Phenomenal, in fact, it's unmissable, isn't it really? We can't buy them back in for that price. We can't buy them back in for that price. That's how low it is. So it's definitely worth, I'm thinking even if you're, you're buying for gifts to people, I know it's very difficult as, with all that's going on in the world right now to, to, to see our loved ones and see our friends. So I don't know about you, but I've been sending a few little gifts in the post. Whether you're making uh, something for somebody or if you know that someone enjoys hand sewing or wants to start hand sewing, a, a pair 
of embroidery scissors, even if you're not a sewer, are always really useful, aren't they? A nice little pair of scissors. Can you hear him? He's opening a present, which sounds like, um, yeah, can you hear, you could probably hear him, can't you, at home? He's opening something in the gallery. I think it could be our second pair of scissors. <laughs> Two of your animal prints are cases as well for less than six pounds. It's like Christmas. There's loads of you taking advantage of this. Can I remind you, once these have gone, they are completely gone. So we've done a really special early bird today. Do not miss out. It's only available while stocks last. Only one postage and packaging. How lovely to be able to, you know, put them through somebody's letterbox to say, I'm thinking about you. Oh, thanks, Joe, throwing scissors at me. Um, for the less than the price of, you know, a posh coffee. If you go into a coffee shop and you can pay three pounds, you've got a really lovely pair for you and for a loved one, but they will sell out. Both of these, can I remind you, one pair of scissors in a very famous department store, £6.50 for one. Today you're getting both of these and you've opened your order. The, uh, the department store has set them at a great price, by the way, because they're really lovely quality. I remind you, these aren't novelty or a cracker pair of scissors. You know, the ones that you get in Christmas crackers that are a bit of a novelty. They are functional and something that you are going to use all the time as a crafter. Just Five pounds ninety-eight scissors. I when I first started in the sewing world, I think I was baffled at the amount of scissors that everybody had. I know I was speaking to Debbie Shaw and she says, "Yeah, I've got probably over thirty pairs of scissors," and um, and it's just really normal. We've had people sending in their scissor collections to me because I said, is it, "Is it really true that everybody hoards all these scissors?" And it's true, but it's really important to have the right scissors for the right job. So if you're working with paper, you don't want to have the same scissors that you would use with your fabric. So if you're working with EPP and you've got your little EPP bag all ready to go, you don't have to keep sort of rating into your work bag. You can keep one with your cross-stitch stash, one in your EPP, one with your sewing machine, one in your tools box. There's, there's a really great chance of having all of these ready to go for workshops as well or on the move. Why not have a pair, uh, you know, in your, in your handbag on the go? So if you're sitting waiting for uh, an appointment or if you're sitting in the car waiting for somebody to finish an after, you know, a club or, uh, or on the train, it's handy just to have a pair of scissors, isn't it? Just £5.98. I always need a pair of scissors like this. You know, if you're on your holidays and you've bought a new dress and it's got a tag on, it's great to just be able to have a little pair of scissors there on the move instead of trying to rip off a new tag on a top or something. Just handy, even if you're not a crafter. £5.98, you can still get involved at the moment, but these will sell out today. If you want to speak to our lovely customer service team, it's free to call. But as, of course, at the moment, we are working with a smaller customer service team. Uh, so if you can get to the web, that will definitely be the quickest and easiest way of getting involved today. We've got so many amazing products. So those of you that have opened your order already, it's only one PMP. So go to our, 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 our website, which is sewingstreet.com. It will take you to Jewelry Maker website. Don't panic. You haven't gone to the wrong website. We are currently using part of their website whilst our website is being built. Um, oh, I'm so pleased that everyone, Hayley's saying everyone's loving these. I'm so pleased. The thing is, it's great to be able to save uh, straight away. You're saving two pounds here at Sewing Street, but actually, if you were to shop elsewhere, these can cost six pound 50, just on their own, one pair. To be able to get two for less than six pounds is just brilliant, isn't it? And you can see what an amazing deal it is. They're beautiful scissors that honestly, they look like they've been, they've been um, passed down through generations, don't they? The detail on these is just gorgeous and they are sharp to the point. Sometimes they look silver, don't they? You can pay a fortune for solid silver. They're not solid silver, but because of the, the sort of finishing on them, they've got a really lovely antique feel. Sometimes when you're looking at smaller snips, you can have smaller sort of loopholes, but they're, they're really, really lovely. 50% of the stock has gone and we had a lot of these for you. I think they'll keep selling throughout the morning, so I'll keep updating you on the stock levels, but if you purchase anything, it's definitely worth adding those to your basket as you'll only pay one p and So that's today's early bird. Absolutely, uh, set your alarm bright and early every morning at 8 a.m. to find out what's going on. And as you've got the p and sort of sorted through the day, definitely stay tuned to see some of the other deals. Um, 
we got the, by the way, we have got the rainbow bundle coming up and we've also got this back in stock, which sold out in a heartbeat the first time this went to air. It's Susan Briscoe's quilting book. It's been on air once and it completely sold it out. It's, it was on week one. It was when we first had Susan Briscoe here um, and it was absolutely amazing price as well. No wonder this sold out. I would actually go as far as saying, I think this is the best quilting book that I've actually ever seen. I know that sounds dramatic, but I'll explain why when we come to it at 10 o'clock. So come back if you do have to go elsewhere, come back or stay with us because that's gonna be back in stock at 10. If you are shopping with us on the web, um, this is, this is, it, this is, oh, well, uh, slightly, slightly changed. It is still Jewelry Maker website. So type in sewingstreet.com and it will take you to uh, Jewelry Maker. Don't worry, you'll find us. If you play, press play then on the video, uh, you'll get the live screen so you'll be able to watch us on the go in the garden. Uh, you can also sign up for our mailing list. So our manage, our, our um, head of marketing, Hayley, she's in charge of letting you know what is going on over the next few days. So she'll keep you in the loop. You can subscribe to get all of the latest news and offers there. And then underneath us, you can shop categories. So you can see straight away, you've got some machines, you've got borders and uh, books and patterns. You've got panels on there, plain fabrics. We're starting to build up that stock. Uh, as we grow as a, as a show, we will be able to, um, of course, grow these categories. But we are still very, very new. We're just months old. That's it. Um, but all of the products will be there if you want to have a bit of a browse through. So if you're shopping on the phone line or if you're shopping on the web, you'll still only pay one P and P. Now, the main product page we still have everything on, um, but eventually it will just have today's product. So at the moment... Everything that we're doing is listed first. And then, this is all today's product. Um, you can see the PUs, and you can start shopping now for those, by the way. You can start shopping now. Um, but that will change eventually. It will go to just what's, what's on today's show, and then everything else will be in the categories. But it's, it's exciting, isn't it? We're getting our, our brand new website up and running uh, very, very soon, all singing, all dancing websites. So the Rainbow Bundle is back. Um, Honestly, I can't explain how many of these, of course, we've sold recently. Uh, I know that we've said that we're down to the last few because of the Navy is out of stock at the moment. Um, we are waiting for more to come and we will get more, but I know how in demand these, Navy, uh, these rainbow bundles are. You don't need to, to go far to see beautiful rainbows in everybody's windows um, and I'm all over the Sewing Street fan page. It's been lovely to see. It's cheering me up on my walk around seeing, uh, my, I went to my sister-in-law's and she She's got with chalk all on the um, on the drive in front of her house. It just looks so colourful and beautiful. But some beautiful creations on the the Sewing Street fan page would look amazing. Oh no, I didn't go into my sister-in-law's. I have to wave through the window. She's literally about to give birth any day now. Uh, she's overdue. So um, I just keep just waving through the window and saying, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" But um, oh, miss her so much. That's coming up. Very, very soon. Keep your eyes peeled for those. Um, right, so did you see Debbie's bag making show a couple of days ago? If, uh, if you missed it, we've got some of the sort of best bits. We've got the tote bag and we've got the occasion book. Should we go for the tote bag first? I think we're in a world right now where, of course, it's, it's all a bit weird, isn't it? We're all going through the same, um, we're all in the same boat. But it's a really great chance, I think, to to start a new hobby or start a new skill. And if you are starting bag making, a tote bag is a really great place to start. And when you're looking at a book by Debbie Shaw, I can't recommend this enough for beginners because the great thing about Debbie Shaw's teaching is that she doesn't use, you know, the fancy jargon and the abbreviations that you can see in a lot of patterns. She breaks it down beautifully. And you think, right, how do you get a whole book dedicated to tote bags? Well, Debbie has. She's got so many different variations of how to make a tote bag, 15 different variations. Plus, now this is new to me completely. I'd never seen another book that actually has a pattern template like this in one. Um, so you have got the template, which you can reuse again and again and again. Full size templates. They're all just ready to trace out and cut out. It's a plastic template, so it's reusable. 15 tote bags, 15 different designs, which are all great transferable skills. Oh, this one um, looks very similar 
to some of the bags actually that we've we've got in the studio. But it's, I think it's just a, a great way of of learning the techniques and picking and picking which ones, which elements you want from it. So this lovely bow, for example, you could put that on a clutch bag, you could change the handles, you could mix and match from each um, bag. Talking through the tools that you're going to need, the different techniques, great photographs. And the, the great thing, as I say, it's really, really based for everybody. Whether you are a, a, an absolute beginner in bag making, Debbie really breaks it down well with fantastic photographs. And without saying, right, you're going to need to go out and purchase this, 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 all the haberdashery, all of the different bag furniture. I know it can cost you a lot of money just to be able to, to get all of the little, uh, the little accessories. Whereas she just says, right, why not use this or this is an alternative if you want to add uh, snaps or bag uh, feet or different bag furniture we like to call it uh, then you can and it gives it a real professional look but there's no you don't have to you absolutely don't have to I mean this one for example I think this was demoed um, on the 16th if you want to watch it back on YouTube it was last Thursday uh, and even without any sort of bag furniture it just feels like she's just used um, uh, like a foam it's the H640, the H640, which is coming soon, and it just adds lovely structure. But how gorgeous is that? I saw somebody on the Facebook fan page, actually, um, who did say, it looks so expensive, and it does, doesn't it? The colours of it are just so elegant. It's really nice and simple. Doesn't need all loads of buttons. And, and that's another one that's in this book. Your glossary, again, any of the terms that you might uh, that you might hear throughout the book, telling you what they mean and breaking it down, Debbie's top tips. And then, so all of that stuff, that's a booking itself, learning the, the techniques. And then you get to the projects. Talking about using your templates, talking about fusing, crafty organiser, if we want to get a bit organised, ready for when we can go back to our workshops and lessons. Uh, how to create, again, your different handles and flaps. The value for money in a book like this, bearing in mind a bag pattern can cost you sort of £10 anyway. Your price per bag is pence, isn't it? It's less than a pound. It's less than a pound a bag. See, I do like just having this piping detail. That gives it such a, a, a real advanced finish, doesn't it? But again, Debbie, just showing you top tips of how to be able to do that, just using a cord uh, and covering it in fabric. It's amazing, isn't it? You could take elements from each different uh, book uh, and, or from each different project and create your own bag. So I know Debbie is saying, you can also make these to sell, which is brilliant. So if you're thinking, right, I actually am plucking up a bit of courage over these last couple of weeks to, to, to really get my bag making going, I'm gonna build up uh, my stock and I'm gonna go and do some craft fairs or sell online, then Debbie does allow that because you do have to be a bit careful sometimes with different patterns, check with, the, uh, with, of course, the designer. But Debbie has said, you can make these to sell. Take elements. So even though there's 15 projects in here, there's actually so many more, really, isn't there? There's so many more if you start using the techniques. Shop a bag. Just changing your fabrics around, make it look completely different. Quilting bags, so you're practicing your quilting, you're learning lots of different techniques along the way. Beach bags, drawstring bags, so these are lovely for gifts, aren't they? You could even change that slightly and make it into like a bottle bag. A reusable bag, gift bags. What about sacks for Christmas? You can start getting all your Christmas makes done and out of the way. We get to about November, don't we, and we think, I haven't got time, I haven't got time to do all of these makes. So it's perfect to do those. So brilliant value. It's a gorgeous book. And everybody needs a tote bag, don't they? Everybody needs a tote bag. Great place to start. That's £11.99. Um, right, so... Let's go to the occasion bag. Uh, I think this was the one that Angela Angela Presley was working from, actually. Um, it's lovely because there's lots of different great occasion bags, whether it be a clutch bag, you've got toiletry bags and makeup bags. £11.99 again for 15 different designs, but they're all sort of interchangeable. Mix and match the techniques to create your own uh, personalised design and personalised bag. Again, as, as with the other uh, tote bag book, you've got your template all ready to go, all to, to scale, full size, reusable. You don't need to be tracing them out. Um, so that's the one that we've made. Here it is which is lovely in the uh, the PU as well. We've got some PU that if you do like that um, almost leather look, we've got your PU coming up. 
they're lovely, aren't they? I mean, again, so many different options, tools, uh, going through all of the, the different techniques, a bit of free motion embroidery in this book. There's so many projects, but all of your templates. Oh, that looks very similar, actually, doesn't it? Well, this, well, it just shows you, doesn't it? Different fabrics, how it changes the look completely. Just £11.99, so again, it is less than a pound a project. Less than a pound a project. Yeah, that is the one that we've, that we've got here. Different ways of doing handles. What about little cos cosmetic bags? I made, I, I have. The last, uh, over the three weeks, what have you been making? Let me know, let me know what you've been up to. Have you started a new skill or a new hobby? Are you joining us at, uh, you know, if you've not sewn for years or if you're just starting sewing, please do message in because we have got Hayley upstairs today. Hayley's here and she's gonna be in charge of, uh, of looking at the, uh, the Facebook page. So if you wanna send in any messages to Facebook, uh, we'll be able to read them out on air. It's uh, Sewing Street TV on Facebook. Sewing Street TV is our official page we also have a brilliant community on the sewing street fan page and i think now more than ever it's so important we all keep in contact it's so nice and it cheers us up it really really does just seeing all of your makes but um one of the first things that i made during this lockdown situation was a makeup bag and wendy orlando i want to thank you for that because she the bearing in mind i never met wendy before one of the first things she said to me was she's a new guest for us and um she came in and she went oh vic your makeup bag is disgusting i was like oh hello wendy nice to meet you and she was like i need to make you a makeup bag so i thought right Wendy, I'm, I'm going to make myself a makeup bag and I have. <laughs> they do just get a bit tatty sometimes, don't they? I haven't had it that long. I haven't had it that long. But it's nice to be able to, a nice gift for somebody as well. If you are making small gifts that you want to put into the post, these are great. These are really, really great. Oh, look at that fringing. See, that looks so expensive, doesn't it? £11.99. You know how much a handbag can cost if you go into any store, especially ones if you're, you know, you're, you're personalising them. You could embroider on them. You could put somebody's name on them. You could make baby bags for a new baby that's uh, entering the family this year. There's so many ideas in there. Zipped purses. Look at the little flower. Just learning techniques like this that you could then incorporate that into um, dressmaking even or quilting, putting them in corners of quilts. Oh, I do think you can never have enough. I think bag making, Debbie will agree. It comes with a bit of an addiction warning. I did say to Debbie, how many bags have you got? And she said, I don't even want to say. She said, it's great insulation though. It's great insulation for your loft. She says she's just filled everywhere with bags and bags. About you can imagine, can't you? Um, so much so that she's made 15 occasion bags with this book just £11.99. If you want some PU or ca canvas to get going, uh, then we're going to do that next as well. Half the stock of the book uh, has gone, so be aware. We've, I know at the moment we've got to just uh, get excited about the occasions that we've all got to look forward to once this is all over. So um, if you've got any weddings that have been postponed you know, later on in the year, hopefully you'll have time now to be able to make yourself a bag. That's so funny. I absolutely felt exactly the same, Hayley. She's saying, I had a friend's wedding that's been postponed and she says, I'm actually quite glad because it gives me time to shape up and, uh, and get myself a new outfit. Why not make yourself a bag to go with your outfit? It's such a good idea. Have a go. And Debbie's book is really, really user friendly. So you'd be able to do it, Hayley. You would. We want to see it on Facebook. I saw your block of the week, Hayley. It was amazing. Oh, <laughs> she says it took me ages. Are you doing that every week now? Oh, brilliant. She says, I've got block two ready to go. You can see it on the, uh, on the official Facebook page. Have a look and you can see our Haley's. Um, right, it's time. Too many people are, are already buying it online, so we might as well just go for it now. The problem is, with having, all of the, uh, with having all of the products underneath us on the web, is that a lot of eagle eye savvy people are already on the website checking out on items. You can do that, absolutely. If you can't watch, uh, you know, if you're thinking, I really want that Susan Briscoe book, you can still get that. Uh, the quilting book has already started selling. So if you missed out on that a few weeks ago and you're thinking, right, I don't want to miss that again, just put it in your basket now if I were you. Right. Joe wants me to tell you that the attention to detail in the way that he's folded this, can you, can you see his deliberate... We haven't got an orange. <laughs> We've got red and yellow and pink and green, purple and 
blue and dark blue. The, uh, the navy blue uh, is nearly sold out, by the way, hence why we are not able to put this bundle together again. It's going to be coming back. Everything that we've got in navy is in this bundle. So go for it. The graphics are live. It's £23.99. Just so you can see how big half a metre is. All of these fabrics are, I mean, that is a lot for your money, isn't it? That is half a metre. All of them are already pre-cut, ready to go. If you're making uh, rainbows, maybe for in your window, if you're just stocking up your stash, this is brilliant. You're right, uh, Hayley says, do you think it's just naturally uplifting when you see a rainbow? It just is, isn't it? It really, really is, especially uh, at the moment. It just makes you smile so much seeing these lovely rainbow projects that everyone's been doing. Uh, you know, we're doing the make of the week. Uh, I must say, I have to stop looking for rainbows because I'm just drawn to them all on the Facebook fan page. And I think every single make of the week that I've been picking has been a rainbow piece. But they are lovely. Also, if you were to do, um, you know, the jelly roll race that um, John Morgan was doing, if you do want to cut this using your stripology or, you know, just cut this into to two and a half inch strips, use it maybe with your barley pops. We've got some of the uh, the, the, uh, the barley pop batiks. You can mix and match them in. They'd look amazing in like a Bargello style quilt. But again, even if you're not using this as a rainbow, what a great way to stock up your stash. Maybe you're making Christmas projects. You've got your red. Maybe you're making daffodil projects for spring. Maybe you, you want to, you know, incorporate some red like this with your Liberty fabrics. This would look lovely with the new Winterbourne house range. Your greens, your blues if you're doing a nautical, if you're using these for bag lining, if you're practising your free motion quilting. I always like to see it on solids. So, I mean, even though we're talking about rainbow, and of course we know they're all going to be very popular because everyone's asking for rainbow um, bundles, but... Even for your sash, they are beautiful quality cottons, 100% cotton, um, Rose and Hubble, uh, gorgeous quality, and they are um, just £23.99, which is brilliant value for money to say you're getting three and a half metres. It is extremely limited now. Every time we bring this to air, it sells out very, very quickly. You've got red, yellow, pink, green, purple, and then you'll do two different shades of blue for less than 20 Five pounds. What's that, so Haley? Have you been doing your? Uh, how are you getting on with your homeschooling lessons, Haley? She's saying that the children are back at homeschooling. Say Easter holidays is over, so it's not as easy as you imagine. It's quite hard. You're a really good teacher, though, Haley. He's negotiated two hours of school. Oh my word, he's a good negotiator, isn't he? Six hours. How has he negotiated you down to two? How? He is eight. She said, what I thought I'd do is make a rainbow with him. Yeah, in fabric. I think this is a good chance, you know, to even if it's not homeschooling, getting uh, textbooks out and doing maths and English. I know my godchildren, her, my best friend Rosie, she's really struggling with her youngest two saying, they just won't sit down and do these textbooks. I said, why not do something, you know, like colouring, playing with fabrics and, uh, and, you know, this is a really good chance, especially at these prices. You're not letting them dip into your Liberty stash. You're not letting them, you know, lip into, nip into maybe your, your Batiks or your William Morris. But just having these solid fabrics uh, at this price point, it's great. Imagine Joseph coming to you and saying, oh, I've made something more, do you want to see it? And you're really excited and then it's, uh, yeah, using your Liberty stash. You'd be fuming, wouldn't you? Just been on your uh, machine and made something with your William Morris or Liberty. Oh, could you imagine? But, I mean, this is a great blender to go with your designer fabrics as well to make it go that bit further. Less than £25. Loads of you still checking out on that one. I will keep you updated on stock level. As we're talking about bag making, these are ideal. These are ideal. Um, so, back in stock today. Are they all individual or is there a bundle? All individual. Right, let's start with black then because this is going to go with everything. I don't know about you, but with a bag, this is ideal. It's beautifully soft, but do you know... I'm definitely one for putting my bag down everywhere, in the restaurant or wherever you are. And it's nice to be able to wipe it, isn't it? It's really nice just to be able to wipe it. So if you are thinking for bag making, this is 
ideal. Now, if you are starting out, as I know, we're talking to lots of people who are brand new to us, who have, you know, maybe never even done sewing before. Um, try with a cotton first, but don't be put off by the fact that this is PU. If you're thinking, oh, I, I, oh it just it's going to look like a black screen, but it is PU. <laughs> don't panic. Your screen hasn't just gone black. Even Hayley panicked upstairs then. Oh, my screen's gone black. It's just because it's black. Um, and it's extra wide. It is extra wide. So you get a lot of fabric there. You're absolutely going to be able to do... Well, if you're doing some of these occasion bags, surely that you're going to be definitely enough to do one or two of these. <laughs> Wendy Orlando's message to say good morning. Is she um, pleased that... I wonder whether you heard Wendy, I was talking about you this morning, saying you've given me the inspiration to make myself a new makeup bag, and I did. I've made myself a makeup roll as well to put my brushes so they don't make my makeup bag dirty. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you. Wendy told me my makeup bag was disgusting, and she says you need to make a new one. So I have. Thank you, Wendy, for the inspiration. Sometimes I just need to hear the truth, don't you? Um, but anyway, this is ideal for dressmaking as well. I know that Debbie was wearing a lovely um, mustard, we've got a mustard, jacket. And that would look amazing if you were, you know, making uh, for dressmaking as well, ideal. Uh, if, I wonder whether you can see, it's really, really soft. On screen, sometimes it can look a bit rigid, whereas actually it's not. It's really, really lovely and soft and easy to work with. That's what I was, go I was going to say about with sewing, is that if you have got a walking foot, I would suggest putting a walking foot on or maybe like a, a, a soft, uh, a non-slip foot. Or I did get a tip once to be able to put a bit of washi tape under your foot um, and then that will help it glide through. If you're finding that it's sticking a bit, walking foot should help that. But if you don't have a walking foot, just put a bit of washi, washi tape under your, your foot and see if that helps. But you, you wouldn't need, you shouldn't need um, a, a denim needle for this. It actually, even though it, it is quite, you know, thicker than your cotton, it's great for cushions, uh, you know, for soft furnishing, if you're thinking for bag making, if you're thinking for dressmaking. Ideal, isn't it? Really, really versatile. Right, so as I'm thinking now bigger projects, if you're thinking for dressmaking and you need more than half a metre, we sell by the half metre, but we cut it off the bolt for you. So if you do want four metres, for example, you'll need to add eight units to your order. If you want one metre, uh, then it's two units, but it's by the half metre for £6.99. It's extra wide as well. It is extra wide. 50% viscose and 50% you but it does give you a very very expensive look I'm thinking if you are making even bag handle straps nice for that because it's really strong very very durable indeed and it looks expensive what about half a meter even if you're looking at half a meter in each color then it's just there isn't it you can start matching it up if you're working with any of these rainbow fabrics black you can't go wrong really can you if you're making a bag I always need a little black bag it goes with everything, doesn't it? Uh, if you're going out or if you, you're doing something, I think a black bag is just easy. Easy, easy. For a night out, it's going to go with everything. That's £6.99. Hi, Susan. Morning, all. Good morning. Hope you're well. She said, what, sorry? I was until a couple of years ago a, te a teaching assistant. She says, I bet it's come as a shock to a lot of parents. She says, I bet it's come a bit of a shock to people, uh, everybody at home, all the mums who are doing some homeschooling right now. I bet it's become a bit of a, a, a bit of um, a bit of a shock of how hard it is to get the little darlings to work. You have plenty of experience of it though, don't you? <laughs> oh my word. <gasps> oh, she said, just be grateful that Ofsted aren't coming into your homes. Oh, that is so true. Could you imagine, Hayley? <gasps> Dearie me. So is Paul doing some um, homeschooling today with Joseph? He's doing some spelling. Go on, what's his home teaching? Do you want to watch this film? <laughs> it's really educational. Oh, this is a lovely colour. I think this one looks very, very expensive. It's called Taupe. Um, it's 50% viscose, 50% PU. It's so, so soft. Again, I wish that we had feel vision sometimes that you could reach in and touch how soft this is. Get it home at £6.99. £6.99. And it is a lovely neutral colour. Again, that will go with everything. 
for £6.99. And let me open this out again so you can see how wide it is. If you'd just like to show it from a distance, there you go. Thanks, Joe. That looks amazing, doesn't it? It's a lot of fabric. It is a lot of fabric for your money. Just £6.99 and a half metre. It's lovely for bag bases, for bag straps, for, uh, I mean, a full pack even with that would look really nice, wouldn't it? Very, very designer-esque, very designer. For just £6.99, uh, a lot of these PUs are extremely, extremely limited. We'll try and get them back in, absolutely. If we can get them back in, they should become a bit of um, a staple part of our, of, our webs, of our web shop. We'll always stock them. But at the moment, as we all are still, you know, building up our stock, and with times at the moment, trying to get stock in is a bit more difficult. Um, so stock up if you're if you're after these colours. At the moment, as far as I'm aware, I should just mention our uh, shipping is it, it, it isn't delayed. It's four to six working days, which I must say is brilliant. If it is a little longer, thank you very very much for your for your patience and your understanding. But at the moment, as far as I'm aware. It isn't delayed. It's all still. Um, it's still all up to speed, which is great. Oh, I think this is one of my faves. The mustard. I would absolutely just get half a meat. Wow, can you tell? Look, I do like my mustard. I do like my mustard. Um, especially a jacket. Debbie Short's got a mustard jacket, and it looks so nice. I keep eyeing it up every time I see her on air in it. I think, oh, that looks really nice. Six pound ninety nine. You get a leather look. What would you pay for leather? If you wanted leather, if you wanted, per if you did want leather, um, personally, I I'm not actually that bothered. I, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't choose to buy leather. But if you did want leather and you want that look and that feel, these would be lovely for purses as well. I'm thinking for purses or. Um, even gents little gifts. I know that we've had some great books. Uh, there's some great books out there of working with leather of lots of different gifts that you can make. Little tassels for, for or charms for bags. Even with half a metre of this, you're going to be able to make loads of those leather tassels. We've seen them uh, multiple times. Just £6.99 for your lovely mustard colour. It's a great colour at the moment. It's very, very in indeed. It is very, very in. I'd probably mix this with one of your greys. We've got a grey co cotton canvas that's coming up um, in a bit and I'd probably mix it with one of those. Grey and mustard is lovely together. Wendy says she's really, really happy. I think she's really, really happy that she know, now knows that I've got a new makeup bag. She says it's really sunny and she's in a craft room all day. Oh, it does, I must say, in the times that we're in at the moment, how glorious is it to see the sunshine? It's just so, I know we're all stuck in and it, we're itching to go out and, and be with our friends and be with our family, but it's so nice just having the sun shining through the window, isn't it? It really is. Just open the window and uh, in the craft room, I bet it's gorgeous. Okay, indigo, it looks like, it looks quite dark on screen, but it's not. It's like a really lovely deep navy blue, which um, I was always told actually to go, navy blue is probably one of the most classic colors that will never, ever, ever, ever go out of fashion. It's always there. It's gonna go with everything as well. £6.99 for your indigo, half a meter. This one, extremely limited if you do. Uh, the reason that I say that is I know a lot of people want to buy more than half a meter. So if you are thinking of larger projects or you know this is one that you have in your stash or you, you're running low of in, in your stash then stock up whilst you can it's only one pmp all day even if you've checked out now that's a brilliant point to make actually because there's not many channels or web shops that offer that so normally when you've checked out and you've paid your pmp you have to pay the pmp again not today not today only one pmp all day long so then the next color is I love the mustard, I do love the mustard. This is a dark brown, which I'm actually thinking for soft furnishings, you could upscale like a footstool with it or, you know, like an office chair or something. You could do all sorts of this. Upscale, upcycle. Upcycle is the word. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Maybe you've got like a, a leather sofa and you want to make some cushions to go on it. This would be lovely, wouldn't it? £6.99. And it's so, it is so soft. What are you thinking, Joe? What's his creative? Oh, mustard and brown together. Oh yeah, that's a nice combination, there you go. And then we've also got 
the red, um, which is, of course, going to be very, very popular, isn't it? Your red PU. <laughs> So, has anybody else at home got or seen on social media um, all of the different challenges on this app called TikTok? I don't have TikTok, but I keep seeing all these different challenges. So I set everybody a bit of a challenge at Sewing Street. We've all got um, a WhatsApp group and we're all chatting all the time. And um, I said, right, try and sit on the floor. Don't try this at home because I nearly rolled into a mirror and broke it. I would have gone viral. Kieran, who's really, I'd like to say he's athletic, he, <laughs> he tried to do it. And he went back, bashed his head on the door frame, so don't try it at home. But it looks really easy. You just sit on the floor and you stand up, but without using your hands or without crossing your legs. And it's very difficult. But Hayley's little boy, Joseph, just did it like that. He did it so easily. It was really frustrating. No, but do you know who else did it? Liam. And Liam, he, he isn't as athletic as he used to be, is he? He's, I think he's um, double jointed, isn't he? Okay. Six pound ninety nine half meter for your red. The red's really nice. Six pound ninety nine half meter. I did get to that point that I was like, why can't I do it? I was rolling all over the floor. You meant to just try and stand up, but I was trying to do like a if I throw myself up with the momentum. I did do it in the end, but I did have to throw myself up. £6.99 a half metre. These are all really, really popular. They always are. I mean, they're really lovely to work with. They're really lovely quality. And uh, you can still just be obviously careful with pinning. I'd use Wonder Clips instead. And if you're ironing, if you do need to press, which you might do, very cool and do it on the reverse. Do it on the reverse. Even use a pressing cloth if I were you. Just be, you know, have a go. Right. We need to speed up because we've got so much to do. That's the last PU. Quick stock uh, warning on the rainbow. There's less than 10. Rainbow bundle, there's now less than 10. It's less than 25 pounds and you're looking at three and a half meters of gorgeous cotton. This is quilting weight cotton this time and all of those colors for under 25 pounds. Quick stop warning, less than 10 of those. Oh, do you know what? Hayley made me a lovely cup of tea and I haven't even had it today. It's been too exciting. Right, what are we um, doing next, sorry? Right, we've got our cotton canvas bundles. Whoops, whatever we've got available individually will also be on the website. We don't, we might not have time to do them all individually. I know that we're down to really, really limited stock on these. Which bundle first? They're all cotton canvas. So it's a slightly, he well, it's a heavier weight, which makes it perfect for bag making. So you see the really lovely, they're expensive looking grey bag in the background. Um, that's with a cotton canvas. It is like, a, you know, like a stretch canvas over a frame. It's a thicker cotton. Um, great still to sew with. It really behaves itself. It's not going to slip and slide all over the place on your machine. Uh, therefore, I would still advise to pin or to clip, whichever your, your preferred way. But it doesn't move around as much as if you're working with something lighter weight. It's brilliant for bags because it's so durable. Also great for soft furnishings. Uh, I've seen so many great projects with all of these colours on the, the, the Facebook fan page. You've again got half a metre of each of these. So these are pre-cut. If you're thinking of making larger projects, have a look on the web and see if you can find them by the half metre. But you've got teal there, that's the teal. That's sky blue and this is navy. Let me open one out just so you can see how wide it is because again, this is extra wide. Normally with your quilting weight cotton, you're looking at 112. This is a thick 140, it's extra wide. Just 11 pounds 49. This is perfect for bag making. If you wanna make your bag bases and straps, it's really lovely and strong. Yeah, 140 wide. You've got your navy, your sky, and your teal. What does that make your price per half metre? I mean, that is really affordable, isn't it? Is it me, or does that sound... Does that sound a bit low? Yeah, 399. 399 a half metre, that is really good. I was thinking they were going to be about 699 a half metre, to be honest. So do make the most of those. Uh, it's a great stash builder, isn't it? Really nice to just have in your stash. Um, I've got a feeling that that price point might be wrong. 
No, that honestly, in, in all seriousness, uh, normally our cotton canvas is, is it 6 99 or 5 99 and a half metre? Not 3 99 and a half metre, gotta be. <gasps> all our half metre, half metre, if you are buying by the half metre, it is 3 99 on the website, we've just had a look. I would absolutely stock up on that because that's got to be a mistake. That slipped through the net, hasn't it? £11.49, that's your blue colourway. We've also got your nautical one, which is lovely. This is your red, navy and a crew, which is... Um, it, it, it's, it's between a white and a cream, isn't it? It, looks, it does look quite white on here, actually, but... A crew, if you want to buy more of that by the half metre, have a look on the, webs on the website. Half a metre of this one, half a metre of your red, and then half a metre of navy. Ah, right, okay, the only one that is available on its own online is, uh, is the red. The navy sold out by the half metre, as has the, uh, the crew. The only way of getting those colours is in the bundle. Once again, these are that heavier weight cotton canvas, ideal for bag making, it really, really is. Um, but also lots of different projects, smaller projects. If you're thinking of making tubs for your workroom maybe and you want to have that durability, then these are great, aren't they? A beach bag, I'm thinking striped beach bag, this would look cool. And you could even applique like an anchor on it or something or some waves, you could do all sorts, couldn't you? That's really nice idea. For a beach bag, that's ideal. Just £11.49. Um, Garden cushions. Uh, what about like a garden, gardeners, uh, everyone's doing their garden at the moment, aren't they? Like a gardening bag to keep all your little bits. I don't even know what they're called. I'm so bad at gardening, like tools. What do you use, like a spade? Like a little apron, a gardening apron. I'm so bad at gardening. I would, <laughs> I would love, I've not invented a gardening apron. They're in lots of books. I've seen them recently. I thought, oh, if I had a garden, I'd have an apron to put all of my tools in. But I'm so bad, I can't even keep anything. I can't even water my plants. <laughs> okay, shall we do the pinks? I've got the pinks and then I've got the greys afterwards, which I know are very, very popular. Um, so you've got two different shades of pink, your lighter pink and your fuchsia. And then your lovely purples. That is so gorgeous. What about like a laundry bag? Um, what's that, sorry, Joe? That one's coral. Your pink, your grey, lavender and blush. <laughs> 19 pounds and 49 pence for two and a half metres. It's again, 3.99 a half metre. Stock up whilst you can. They're already pre-cut, ready to go. Coral is available on its own. But it looks like the others are sold out. The only way of getting the others, I think, is the bundle. I told you, all of the cotton canvas, I've not even seen it since I've been away that we've launched these. And they've all nearly sold out. I think we've all been inspired by Debbie Shaw, haven't we? Get bag making. You need to make a big Lego bag to put on the floor. So just gather all the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Lego together with a drawstring. This canvas would be great for that, actually. And I tell you what, it's affordable. You would be able to make yourself a really nice big sort of sack that you can put all of the Lego in. Have you been doing some Lego as well, Hayley? What have you been building? Built a plane. Amazing. So it's amazing, isn't it, what you can build? I saw somebody do a big Disney castle. A really high wall tower <laughs> until she ran out of certain blocks i've never done it before i've never done a lego i'm i need to get a board i, I wonder if there's anything here like an old, uh, a cardboard something that i can do a jiz, jigsaw puzzle on and, and what have you done have you left it out just on the side it's a thousand pieces Haley's doing one at the moment she says it's on a table she said, I forgot the table extended. She says, I had to extend the table to keep the puzzle on the table. And Joe's told me about those felt wraps you can get so you can put it away. Oh, I definitely need it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. If I get a big cardboard, um, you know, or plywood or something. How are they? Just 19 pounds. 49 pence. What are the extra large cutting mats would do, actually, wouldn't it? Uh, and then we could use it again. Once you finish your jigsaw, you can actually use it. Okay, let's do the greys and neutrals. 
By the way, there's so many of you still checking out on the early bird. If you're if you're purchasing any of the fabric and you you missed the early bird, you get two scissors with scissor keepers for less than six pounds. So it's definitely worth if you've already opened your order, add them in. Um, the neutrals. The most limited, I'm afraid, and I think it's because of this lovely, very expensive looking bag. Um, look at that. Isn't it lovely? £19, 49 pence. You're getting black, grey, lighter grey. And then you've got like a, uh, it almost looks like vanilla, doesn't it? Black, charcoal, light grey, cream and a crew for just £19.49, again, three ninety nine and a half metre, absolutely brilliant value for money, uh, for lovely quality cotton canvas. Black is available on its own by the half metre, um, but everything else I think is only available in that bundle. So do make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. Uh, oh, Wendy, I know you're watching. Oh, okay. I'll bring it. I'll put. A, I'll put a picture. I'll send a picture to you, or I'll, or I'll bring it in. I'll bring it in. I've made my um, makeup round. I have. Hayley, you have no faith in me. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll bring it into my on Thursday. My birthday show on Thursday. I'll bring it in and I'll show you. I know. I'm so excited for my birthday show. Hayley did say though. Obviously, with the current situation, we can't get balloons. We can't everything. So I'm just going to be telling everyone it's my birthday, so we can do all these crazy prices. I promise. We'll do some brilliant deals for you. Our lovely Wendy, who's watching from home, she's watching from her craft room. She says I'm going to be in my craft room all day, lovely and sunny. She's feeling happy. She made us this lovely, lovely cushion. She well, she made loads for us. She's currently designing a great project for us, actually. I've never heard of that before, and that's a really good, it's an original design. I don't know whether I should say it. Right, so she's coming up with, a, is it called a pan safe? So you know when you've got all your pans all stacked up and they scratch each other? She's, um, yeah, she's going to put sort of like um, a, 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 something that you stack in between your pans, a fabric sort of stuff to put in between your pans so that they don't all scratch and bash together. That's a really good idea. Oh, nice. Oh, so that's going to be with Wendy very, very soon. That's coming up soon. Um, oh, she's already done it. She's filmed a demo. Brilliant. So let's do rainbow first because this is lovely. It comes all beautifully packaged like this. This is your Hoffman Barley Pop Batiks strips. They are two and a half inch. So those of you that uh, love working with two and a half strips, whether you are a quilter, whether you do patchwork. Do you know, this is what was interesting actually. When we first met Wendy, uh, she was a brand new guest designer to us and she was, she was given these and also a quilting book and she says, I am not a quilter, but she had so much fun of, you know, coming up with loads of different designs and different ways of using these. Because we talk about two and a half inch strips a lot with quilting patterns, whether you're working from Pam and Nikki Lintot or uh, if you're doing any of the jelly roll or design roll races, there's so much that you can do with these, whether you're then sub cutting into squares, into triangles, but also if you are making soft furnishings, this is gonna go such a long way. And that was the one thing that Wendy did say is that this goes such a long way. You are gonna be able to make project after project after project. And if you are new, when I first started out, I kept getting it all a bit mixed up of right sides together, wrong sides together, which way do I do it? When you look at these strips, which are all two and a half inch cut, laser cut as well, so they're all precisely two and a half inches, um, 112 wide, you can't really see. There is a right way and a wrong way, but you can't really see it, can you? So it's great for anything that's reversible or for anybody who's new. Just so you are aware, it is a batik fabric. So this is a traditional hand dyed fabric in Bali. Now, I don't know whether you've heard, Hayley, but Hannah and I have been doing please and please for when this is all over for us to be able to do a very educational trip to Bali. Of course, just to do, we'll need the head of TV on that trip and we'll need Joe to direct it and do the cameras and Hayley and I, we, uh, and Hannah and I obviously to, to do some videos. Hannah for entertainment. Hannah for entertainment, of course. But I thought it would be lovely for us to do a nice little educational trip to see the traditional dyeing method of batik fabrics in Bali. 
Look at that. I mean, when you're thinking, right, you're paying a pound a strip and you can do so much with these. I think it's phenomenal value. The amount of projects you're going to be able to make. So Wendy had one, one of these packs and she made the cushion. Just adding it with white, how much the colours really, really pop. This was from the, uh, the pastel range, but she also made a cushion. Well, she made two of these. She made a bag. She made... Um, also the the, uh, the placemat. She made loads. She bought in so many different things that she was making. So it just keeps going on and on and on and on. She also had enough to do the pan stackers as well. Uh, all of these different colours, beautiful, unique fabrics, and you can still mix and match it with your with your cotton canvas or with your cottons. Just be aware that they are boutique fabrics. Have a look on Pinterest or have a look on online and see some of the amazing designs that you can do with boutiques. We can't order more at the minute either. So I know that we're seeing them. Um, we are seeing them quite a bit at the moment, but just know that we can't get them. We can't get them back at the moment. They're obviously internationally shipped. So definitely make the most of those whilst you can. That's the rainbow colour. Hello, Fiona. Good morning. Say good morning, Vicky. She says, you've taught me into it. I've got the mustard taupe and indigo PU. Oh, absolutely, go for it. Let us know what you make with them. Are you thinking bag making or dress making? Are you thinking of jackets? Because I have been eyeing up Debbie Shaw's PU jacket that she's been wearing. It looks gorgeous. Um, keep safe, she said. And you, thank you very, very much for your message. Thank you. Um, should we do the pastel? Because this is the one that, that Wendy was working with and it's gorgeous. It really, really is. Two and a half inch strips uh, are, are quite regularly called for actually. So don't get me wrong. We see a lot of people making their own design rolls from half meterage, but it's done. They're laser cut. They're gorgeous quality. And it's a great way of getting a whole collection of different colours. It's a brilliant stash builder, isn't it? And then all you need, maybe get a, a metre of, of white or a metre of a crew or ivory or one of the, the colours that you've got in your stash. Uh, it's going to go with everything, isn't it? I do think, though, seeing Wendy putting this just with white, it really makes those colours pop. This is your hand-dyed, traditional, batik barley pop, all the way from barley, 39.99. Hayley's just had in a quick look. She says the first two stores that she's looked are both out of stock. I must say, at the moment, fingers crossed, at the moment, we're still up to date and up to speed with our delivery. So if you are, of course, as we all are, at home, please do stay in and stay sewing. Get creative. Send us your makes. I just find it so mindful. Uh, the other day when I had the creative grids to play, to play with, hours went by and I didn't even realise it was, I hadn't even had my lunch and it was about half past five. In fact, Hayley's having a look and they're all out of stock everywhere. Uh, she says that's the fourth shop I've looked at now and it's out of stock online. So absolutely, if you are thinking, right, I know I want to do some more sewing over the next few weeks uh, and, and I know I love working with this. I saw somebody actually on the jelly roll race, the, the design roll race that, um, that John was doing. They had a rainbow panel, our rainbow panel, and they had one of these and they did the most beautiful, beautiful um, quilt that, that was sewing along with John. So if you did see that show, you probably saw the photographs as well. And it was absolutely amazing just seeing those pops of, of the boutiques, that hand-dyed traditional method. For $39.99, it is going to go a long, long way. So I'm not here to rush you or pressure you, but I'm just saying that we're going to struggle to get this back, obviously, once these have all sold out. Once these have all gone, we are going to struggle to get it back. Have we got it? Oh, we have got it. Somebody, uh, Joe's still got the photographs, actually, from um, uh, John's show. If you did watch the design roll race. Oh, it was Sarah. Oh, that looks amazing. That was weird. The barley pop. Uh, and the rainbow panel. And it looks great, doesn't it? It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. And just having all of those different colours, especially at the moment, just seeing the rainbows just cheers us up, doesn't it? It really it really does. So they're the pastel. Uh, you're getting full... Uh, don't, just tell me where to go, Joe. I'm just trying to save Joe from going to the cameras. There we go. So you can see all of those colours for 
Uh, so your your strips, yeah, are 112 wide, which is uh, yeah, 42, 42, 44, 44, 44 inches. Uh, two and a half inch strips, 40 to 45 inches wide. It says. Okay. 40 to 45, 44 slash 45, you can see there. 44 to 45 inches wide. Thank you. And then we've got the under the sea. <gasps> I think this is my favorite. I do think this is my favorite. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. 39 pounds 99. Once again, for so much fabric. I, I love seeing when you mix together different textures, whether you're mixing in woven fabrics, cotton fabrics, just be aware when you are quilting, you're working with different weights of fabric. This is a more sort of uh, delicate weight fabric. And because of the way that it's traditionally dyed, I know so many people have got different preferences on washing and pre-washing their fabrics. Um, so do have a look at that. But in terms of mixing and matching them, Kaif does it all the time. Kaif Facet, Anna Maria Horner, other great quilt designer, uh, mixes in batiks with, with, with with um, cottons and with woven fabrics as well. Less than 10, that's it. And once they've gone, they have gone. Uh, we will, of course, absolutely try and do our best to get some more of these in the future, but as the uh, the current situation, we aren't able to, to get any more in. So do make the most of those. I love the colours. And yes, you're seeing them as this under the sea, but actually, you've got such a great range there to go with your stash. I'm thinking these would look lovely, even with your liberties or picking out some of your, your navy blues, your purples. There's so much that you're going to be able to add these in with. Less than 10 of these now remaining. There are less than 10. They were sell out this morning. If you're watching on a replay, it's definitely worth finding out availability. You never know. So we've got coming up, don't forget, lots of people are checking out. Over the next few minutes, have a look on our web shop. This book is back in stock. I'm not going to tell you any more, but if you know, you know. Absolutely check out on that one whilst you can. We're going to give you a quick uh, few minutes to have a look through the website and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. 
Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to give you my top tips on how I go about enjoying my sewing experience. My first top tip, as everybody knows, rotary cutter safety. If you're not using it and it's not on the mat, that blade must be locked. Please be safe. My second top tip is always buy more fabric than you need. If you don't have it, it's always going to sell out. You're going to struggle to find it and when you do, it's going to cost you a lot more than when you were going to buy it originally. So buy it all. You always regret the bit you didn't buy. My next tip is Positive or negative, always listen to the advice and opinions of other people. Even if you ignore them, everybody has a different perspective, everybody has a different take on things, and it might help you along the way. The next top tip I have is always buy the most expensive and the most useful and the most practical for your brain product that works for you. Some people prefer different things, buy what works for you. And my last tip is, this is fun, this is enjoyable, and make sure you are enjoying it. Because there's nothing worse than carrying on with something and hating it and not enjoying it. You need to make sure that you're having fun. Those are my top tips and how it is that I enjoy my sewing experience. I hope they help you, because they have helped me. For more handy tips and demonstrations, make sure you watch us on our Freeview Channel 74, Sky Channel of 670, otherwise follow us on YouTube on Sewing Street, where you can catch up on past demonstrations and shows. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome back. Hope everybody is keeping well. Hope you're... Uh... <sighs> I hope everybody, it's a bit sort of bittersweet and it? it's hard at the moment, but I hope everybody's keeping safe anyway. That's the most important thing. And I hope you're enjoying getting a bit of sewing done at home, or maybe you're starting out. If you are brand new to us, welcome to a lovely community and a great family here at Sewing Street. We've got so much to bring you over the next two hours. But then if you do want a bit more, then of course you can always watch back any of the shows on YouTube as well. There's lots of great demonstrations on there. There's lots of uh, our guest designers who are normally with me on air. Every single show that we've ever bought, that we've ever broadcast is on YouTube. So you can watch them all back at any point. Now, at the start of the show, eight o'clock every single morning. It's worth setting your alarm at eight o'clock to see the saving that you're gonna make. Now, today I love this because we've seen this scissor keeper before. This isn't a brand new product to us. This is one that we actually launched quite early on when we started the channel. It's a lovely pair of scissors that look like they're solid silver. They're not, uh, and therefore we've got a brilliant price on them. But how expensive do they look? So you've got the lovely pair of embroidery snips and you've got the scissor keeper. We're then gonna times it by two. So you're also gonna get an extra pair maybe for on the go, if you've got them in um, your EPP stash, if you've got this one by your sewing machine, if you're giving this to a friend, if you're keeping it uh, in the car, you know, for on the move. You've got two pairs of scissors and the scissor keepers for a price point that I know elsewhere is even lower than what you would pay for one. Elsewhere, big department store is selling one pair of scissors, this one, for £6.50. Early bird special means you're getting both of these. So even for, for Sewing Street, I mean, it's a £2 saving for us, but actually, 
It's so much more if you start to do your comparisons. Um, but they're lovely, aren't they? We just thought it's something that crosses over across all different skills, whether you're a bag maker, a dressmaker, a toy maker, do hand sewing, whether you're a quilter. We all need, uh, you know, a good pair of snips. We all need a good pair of embroidery scissors, and these are perfect for that. So something to cheer us up to start the day off. Open your order nice and early. There's still availability, but once they have gone, they've completely gone. We're not going to be able to get these back. Uh, well. We're not going to be able to get them back anywhere near the price point that we're looking at. We can't replace them for that price, being quite honest with you. It's, I mean, three pounds, three pounds a pair of scissors, where, whereas you, we often, you know, you go to, to get a posh coffee from a coffee shop. That's how much it costs you, if not more, actually, sometimes. Uh, especially when you're like me and you start adding the caramel and then the whipped cream and the marshmallows. I'm like, what, five pounds? But you're getting both of these for less than six. It's brilliant. Great value for money. And I love the metallic, the metallic little animal print scissor case as well. And you can detach them from it, of course. Um, they're not completely attached, but it's nice to know that you are keeping them nice and safe uh, if you are keeping them in your bag. Uh, once they are gone, they are completely gone and we can't get these back. So already loads of them have gone. I just wanted to give you a quick update on stock. Uh, it, I've got a feeling that they could sell out today. Absolutely make the most of that price because they're not coming back at that price. That is an early bird special for today only or whilst stocks last. Okay, so one thing that I know all of us are crying out for at the moment is hand cream. And um, I'm obviously washing our hands a lot. And my hands in particular have got very, 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 very dry, especially under my, uh, my wedding ring. It's really, really quite sore. And this has helped so, so much. Uh, we've got the hand cream and the nail oil. We'll start with the hand cream. And when we met Karen, uh, when we first started the show uh, a couple of months ago, she was actually live here in the studio and she's the inventor of Seams Hand Cream. Uh, and I love the fact that she bought, uh, she bought this in because of her own experience. So she, she was actually on a milliner's course making amazing hats. And she says her hands were just in ruins. And she asked the teacher at the London School of Fashion, what is the best hand cream to use? And they said, we haven't really found one. One that absorbs quickly, one that's nourishing to your skin, but um, is going to help to heal. And therefore she said, right, okay, I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna come up with one. So she spoke to the best pharmaceutical and, uh, and uh, best pharmacist and came up with a combination of ingredients that one, smell amazing, but don't, it, it isn't a smell that lingers. It's a smell that's not gonna transfer onto your fabric. So if you're working with um, wedding dresses maybe, or silk dupions, or fabrics that you're thinking it's going to, to, to make your fabric greasy, it's not. It instantly absorbs. I still like to do this at night, before you go to bed, give yourself a bit of a hand massage. Of course, we all are constantly very, very busy. We're all living busy lifestyles, whether you're washing your hands loads, especially at the moment, or, or whether your hands are the tool of your trade, it's really important we look after them. The price on this does not reflect how much has gone into it. And I know that Karen has said, I could have charged a lot more than this, but I wanted everybody to have a hand cream that was accessible. It's something that is gonna last you. I mean, this is mine from home and you only need, it's lasted me so long because you only need literally, well, I mean, that's probably even too much, a pea size, just a tiny amount and just give yourself a really lovely massage. It sinks into the skin. I'm quite often gifted hand creams for obviously um, working on TV. My hands have been on show a lot and um, I, I do like to try and look after my hands. So I always use hand cream. But quite often hand creams, I don't know about you, but they can just sit on the surface of your hands and not actually sort of penetrate in. This is sort of designed to absolutely penetrate into the skin and therefore can also help um, with the ingredients that Karen's used, uh, you can see that it's actually says on the on the packet here, it's designed to help. It can't say it's guaranteed to mend, but it's designed to nourish and smooth, hydrate and enhance the skin barrier, even skin tone, uh, comfort. It's the Fragonia oil that gives that beautiful scent. And it's not overpoweringly floral. Quite often hand creams as well can be quite 
floral and a bit sickly, whereas that is just a lovely, clean smell. So I, I do always get um, compliments on it, actually. My mum's always stealing this whenever she comes around because it does just smell so nice. We've got some up in the office as well, haven't we? And when every, well, we did have, once everybody, uh, you know, was up in the office, uh, it's the first thing we all do is come in and put some nice hand cream on uh, and it does just absorb quickly so you're not left with that greasy feeling on your hands for hours. Just £13.99, as I say, we're always, it's always very, very popular, but of course, in today's times, in today's times, let me know where you want it to go, Joe. I can hear him going, oh, oh, getting very annoyed at me for not putting it in the right place. He's ever so grumpy, you know. Liam, if you're watching at home, you're not wrong. He was saying, I was in a bit of a bad mood last night, and I think he's woke up grumpy again. £13.99, pardon? Liam will be watching, yeah. Liam will be watching. At $13.99 for the most gorgeous hand cream. I know that they've had so many amazing celebrity endorsements as well. If you go onto uh, to Karen's uh, Seams Facebook page, social media or website, uh, then you'll see how many celebrities are using this as well through lots of different industries. But I think as a gift for somebody, if you're posting a gift to somebody or, you know, go putting it through the letterbox, then this is a lovely gift, isn't it? $13.99, especially somebody that's sewing. If you're doing hand sewing, uh, I know Kat needs some of this, doesn't she? She's been doing an EPP without a thimble and her hands look very, very sore at the moment. The hand oil. Now, this is something that I think is a bit of luxury. Every now and then, I think we should treat ourselves to a little bit of luxury. Um, if you're washing your hands lots and lots and lots, as we all are at the moment, do you find that your cuticles can get very, very dry and, 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 and um, sort of flaky? They can get very, very sore indeed. This is going to really help that. Again, it absorbs instantly. You only need the tiniest, and I mean the tiniest drop. This will last you the year. It's got a 12-month shelf life and it will last you the year. If you, don't, if you just use the recommended amount, which I'm not even going to squeeze it, just tap it literally just tap it onto your cuticles massage it in it's not only designed for your cuticles but if you've got any sore or extra dry areas heels of your feet elbows knees i know that Haley uses it for lovely um soft holiday legs holiday skin we've got all this lovely um summer weather coming haven't we it would be lovely just to be able to put a bit of nice um nourishing oil on designed to to really again condition and help uh with with your nails, strengthen your nails and your cuticles. I've already told you, I um, I had my nails done just before the lockdown started. And my nail technician told me, come in, get them soaked off or soak them off at home. Don't pull at them. Don't pull them off. They were like the acrylic ones. And what did I do? I've sat, I've been watching the telly and I've been picking up my nails and I've pulled them off. And my nails are so sore. And I've been doing this for the last three weeks. And it really, really helps. It does. It's, it's personally helped me. So I think even though it's, it is a little investment, it's $21.99. It goes such a long way. If you think about like your price per use and how much it's going to help nourishing those those sore hands at the moment if we're washing them a lot, it smells beautiful and again it absorbs very very quickly. Just twenty one ninety nine. Okay, this hour it's all about having the right tools to be able to cut our gorgeous fabric. So we're going to start with, oh, can I remind you, by the way, 10 o'clock, we're not long away until bringing back the Susan Briscoe book. And loads of you have bought it online today already. So just to remind you, if you are wanting to get a bit of a head start and reserve your place, then you can get it online. Um, so what should we start with, Hayley? Ah, oh, okay. I've got so many creative grids. I've got rectangle rulers, I've got square rulers, I've got cutting mats, I've got cutting tools, I've got boards, I've got things, you know, to take when we can go back to our workshops. We've got everything to, to, to kit, get us kitted us out. Some are essential when you're using a rotary cutter. For example, if you're using a rotary cutter, you need a mat and you, you do really need a ruler. Um, and some of them are, if you want to get a bit creative, maybe if you're starting out quilting, um, and you're looking for rulers to help you with your precision, I can't recommend Creative Grids enough. I am, of course, here to bring you lots of different brands and lots of different varieties. Today, we've got 
rotary cutters from lots of different brands and lots of different companies. When it comes to rulers, I was trying to think about how to word this, but I might as well just tell you, I don't think that there is another ruler out there that will give you everything that creative grids do. I just wouldn't even try a different one. I've been very, very lucky that um, since I started my coursing journey, I've sort of just been introduced to creative grids, but I wouldn't even try a different one. I know a lot of people who have got different brands of rulers, which are also very good, but as soon as they've used a creative grid, they go, ah, oh, this really helps with the precision, the accuracy, and being able to see the markings. So they're a really nice, thick acrylic. So. They're really, really sturdy. They're easy to read, they're clear, they work on light and dark fabrics. But what I love about Creative Grids is that they are designed for quilters, but they're made by quilters. So they know all of the little hacks and all of the shortcuts to be able to bring you everything that you need to get the best quilt designs and the best, um, the, the best blocks as possible. What I love about this ruler is that it's a triangle, it is a triangle. Now, initially I was thinking, right, you could do, let's think, bunting with this. If you put all your triangles together, as you can see here, uh, you could make like a hexi, so like this. Here is one that I made earlier. So if you're looking at like a hexi, now I've got a bit carried away, I must say. So I made two and I put them together um, I put them together and then I thought, oh, I can do another two and put them here and here. And then realised, no, I'd have to do a Y seam. So I stopped there. <laughs> I stopped there. But just to show you, you could start to make some really cool cushions or quilt designs just using your triangles all together. Really simple to do. You could do, um, this is a border. You could do, um, you know, your triangles all as a border in, in a line. But then... What I love about Creative Grids is that they have got such a great presence online. Uh, the QR reader there, if you've got one of those QR reader apps, that will take you straight to the Creative Grid YouTube channel or just type into YouTube Creative Grids. There are so many videos all around the world. These are made, this one's made here in the UK, designed in the UK by Rachel Cross. Um, but actually, you see so many designers are working with them. And they're really difficult to get hold of. We've got such an amazing relationship with Creative Grid and that's the reason that we can bring you them. But they're not readily available. The quilters that have got them, they love doing demonstrations on YouTube though. So it's definitely worth going on. And, and that's exactly what I did. I thought, right, it comes with a little leaflet, which I'm not sure where it is. Don't throw it away. Don't lose it, ironically. Don't lose it. Because it's got lots of great instructions in there of different, uh, different ways of using the ruler. But what I thought is, right, I'm going to go on YouTube and find something a bit different. So I actually saw Rachel Cross, who designed this ruler, um, taking a, a block from Lynn Edwards. They always work with lots of different designers. If you've got Pam and Nikki Lynn top books, you might have seen Creative Grids in there. There's lots of designers that work with them. Um, so I thought, right, I'm going to try something different. Now, I'm not going to do it now because we've got loads that we want to do. But, I mean, designs like this, this is a magic lantern block. If you were to do that all as a quilt, it would look amazing. And that is so easy to do. I was chatting to Elizabeth earlier in the week and she said, Vic, I always thought you were on my level of quilting and doing things. She said, I think you've surpassed me now. I haven't, I haven't Elizabeth. I'm really still, I'd class myself as very much beginner, adv uh, adventurous beginner, I like to call myself. Uh, but have a go, just using two different fabrics. What you would do, now you can cut with this ruler up to eight inch triangle. So one inch, two inch, you can see that solid line. If I put a fabric underneath, then maybe it'll be easier for you to see the markings. If I put this under, then you'll be able to see. So I've cut an eight inch, there you go. Yeah. So you can see you've got one inch, two inch, three inch, that solid line all the way through. But then can you also see that it's got the half inch mark and your white line measures your three quarters of an inch line. So, I mean, there's so many different markings on there. I've chosen to do the biggest, which is your eight inch. You can do up to eight inch triangles. And what you would do, I've just cut an eight inch strip of fabric Place it against your eight inch line at the bottom. Can you see how at the top, you've got the top of the ruler missing? Don't worry, it hasn't got damaged. That is again, another great 
hack or uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely um, intentional that that was missing on the ruler. So it reduces bulk and also means you're not going to have to keep continuously cutting off lots of dog ears. So that will line up with the top edge of your fabric. And then what you'll need to do to make the block that I'm do what I've done is cut two triangles. So just go in with your rotary cutter and cut two triangles. Creative Grid as well, they really like to sort of reduce the waste of a, a fabric. So there's very, very little wastage. So if you want to do a four inch one, slide it down to the four inch line and you know then you've got a, a perfect four inch triangle. It's so easy, it's so easy. Um, but then if you were to turn it upside down, you're not getting any wastage, if you understand what I mean. You just can keep rotating. You can cut the last one. Well, you can see where I cut my last one. So then you would start the next one by lining it up along there. So it, it's really, really simple. So that's all I've done is cut two, uh, two pink triangles, then get your second colour. Um, I haven't got one made up here, actually, but what it was was a square or a rectangle that was eight inches high by, I don't remember, five and three eighths wide. Five and three eighths wide. And again, you come in with your triangle ruler and you cut. I will show you where you cut. You line this up. It's obviously now cut in half. Can you see where that central line is? To the side of it, you've got a bit of a frosted part which is measures a quarter of an inch. So I've just shimmied that across to there. Again, lined it up with my eight. Lined it up with that line. Make sure everything's lining up and then you make that cut. So I've made that cut across here. We've got it all lined up and then there'll also just be a little dog ear that you want to to just nick off at the top that's your seam well that's yeah that's your seam allowance i did so you would do that for both that one will automatically be the uh the correct size you just need to trim the dog ear off and sew it to create this just two with your quarter of an inch seam press it whichever way you like um, i've just pressed it sort of flat to reduce the bulk oh a bit messy there um and then it's honestly as easy as this you cut this part into two inch strips. You're gonna be cutting it, so let's imagine. I haven't cut it. You can use, you can use your, your triangle ruler because you, no, do you know what? I would use one of the, I would use one of the rectangle ones. These are, I would, if you're buying a ruler to start with, we'll talk about those, or your stripology, ideal, absolutely, maybe one of your smaller stripologies. If you imagine you have cut this into your triangle, I've sewn that one together so it's a bit difficult to do, because then what you do is you flip it round. So I'm just gonna keep turning these around like this. Now I would trim off that dog ear, especially if you're using a quarter of an inch foot, because if you imagine the guard that goes along, it might just get kept caught on there and make it a little more difficult. So just trim that off. We're gonna sew them together and then repeat that twice to create your magic lantern. And if you imagine that, so is to here, so is to here. It's so quick. It literally took me about 20 minutes to do. So you can actually do some really cool things with this ruler. They're called creative grids because we want you to get creative. They want you to get creative and create your own blocks, make your own designs. It's really, really clear. Your markings are ever so clear. There's, there's nothing that you can't do in a traditional way of measuring and cutting, but it takes out the planning, it takes out the maths, it takes out the, you know, the thinking. It makes it really, really easy to cut exactly what you need. The word that I've heard a lot over my sort of beginning journey of patchwork and quilting is precision, accuracy, getting the quarter of an inch, the one eighth of an inch. And I'm thinking, oh my word, it won't matter. It does matter, it really, really does. Those end points won't meet if you don't get those seam allowances right. So these tools, they last you. If you look after them, they will last you the test of time and they will really help to make your results a lot neater a lot, uh, more professional. They're more of an investment. And um, I, I know that John Cole Morgan, I need to speak to him actually, because John was saying he loves this ruler. So there's so much more that you can do. It's not just about making fancy bunting or hexi quilts or magic lantern quilts. There's so much that you're gonna be able to do with that. It's just 60 degree uh, triangle ruler from Creative Grid and it is brilliant. We love that one. There's loads and loads and loads online for that. Um, but if you are thinking, right, I'm starting out. If you're saying, 
might not necessarily be the first ruler that I buy, what would we think to be the first ruler to get? Now, I would go with this one, which is your six by 24, uh, well, six and a half by 24 and a half. It is perfect to be able to cut your whole width of fabric. So if you're cutting off your salvages, then this is perfect for that. Um, without having to rejig your ruler and rejig your fabric. This is great for cutting meterage. Um, your first initial cuts, you'll use this ruler. Now, just going back to why I choose Creative Grids over any other ruler. I mean, I'm not here to be biased at all. I'm, <laughs> we bring you lots of different brands and lots of different uh, products, but the reason that I know so many people love Creative Grids is because of the non-slip grip. Now, I know that I'm repeating this for a lot of people who know it, but it's so important that you have the accuracy, but also you're working with a blade, you're working with a rotary cutter, so you want to feel safe. You want to make sure that it's not going to be slipping and sliding. It seems really, really obvious that it needs to stay still and have grip, but there's no one, no other company that I've seen that have this grip. This is a really specific grip. I think it's some sort of painted um, design to them, or it's a definitely a really unique point to them. It's built into the ruler. So can you see all of these frosted parts? You've got it round the edge, and then you've got it dotted throughout the ruler. This isn't stick stuck on. This isn't a sticker. This is built in to the plastic. It's like a frosted part. It feels like a nail file, but not a rough one a nice gentle one on your fabric. So it's not gonna snag on your fabric, it's not gonna damage, it's not gonna leave anything sticky. But also, I have seen stickers that you can put on rulers to give you the grip. But if you imagine, as soon as you put it on your fabric, it's gonna, leave, it's gonna be sticky, isn't it? Whereas this, you can glide it across your fabric, but then when you've got it into the right position, you simply apply pressure to the grips and then you can make that cut nice and safely. Uh, the great thing about this length is that you can cut the whole, all your salvage off, you can straighten up your edges without having to then rejig your ruler and stop and start and reposition. All of the markings are so, so clear. So in fact, the turnaround feature on Creative Grids it looks uh, a bit scary at the start, I'm not going to lie. I sort of thought, I'm rubbish at maths. I'm really, really bad. This looks like a lot of angles, a lot of numbers. I'm going to really struggle with this. And actually, it's really, really simple. If, I'm just get some f if I just get some fabric so you can see the markings a bit clearer away from the cutting mat. At the bottom, if you face that creative grid sticker towards you, it's not a sticker, that's another non-slip grip. Uh, if you're having that facing towards you, the bottom has got your full inches. So in white, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and you've got a solid line that goes all uh, to the end of the ruler. In between, you've also got every quarter of an inch measured, and then you've also got, uh, sorry, your quarter of an inch is your white lines here. And then your little black lines are an eighth of an inch as well. So that's all along the bottom and running up the side of your ruler. And once again, your markings run all the way through very, very clearly. So it shows up, as you can see, on light or dark fabric. That's why it's a really good starter one. The less you move your ruler, the straighter, of course, your line's going to be when you're, you're cutting. Then, if you're called for a half inch strips or two and a half inch, all you do, spin it 180, work with it this side. Again, that turnaround feature, you've got half an inch, you've got one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, and five and a half, and then running again up the side of the ruler. And you've got your quarter of an inch mark, you've got your eighth of an inch mark, so if you need two and a quarter, you know where that quarter inch is. It's actually so much more sort of user-friendly than I initially thought. I was thinking it looks very complicated. It's brilliant. It actually removes all the maths. You're just not having to think about it. Of course, you've got to still make sure that you're... I've always been told, measure twice, cut once, and you'll, you'll, uh, you'll be fine. But look, you've also got your 45 degree angle. You've got your 60 degree angle as well. So all of those key angles and key measurements that we use as quilters, it's brilliant and really lovely to, to be able to use with a rotary cutter. So that's the one that I would start out with. If you are cutting, um, by, from, you know, from half meters, it is great for just squaring off and, uh, and taking off your salvages. Right, if you're doing John Cole Morgan's block of the week, 
that ruler will be able to do most things, if not all of the blocks. That's the one that, um, that Haley's using. That was the first ruler that I bought. Um, um, cutting mat, a rotary cutter, and this ruler were my first ever purchases. And it, it is brilliant for that. Just while I've mentioned the cutting mat, because we do need a cutting mat. Now, I've completely outgrown mine at home. I've completely outgrown it. I'm absolutely having one of these. Now, even if you don't have the space initially, if you're thinking, I don't have a workroom or I don't have a, a dedicated sewing space, the great thing about this, store it flat, store it under the sofa, under the bed, down the side of a, a wardrobe or something. I probably would urge to store it flat on the floor, but this is amazing. And I was always told, go with the biggest mat that your space will allow and it's so, so true. Because if you're cutting, if you imagine, you've then got to shimmy it. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So if you're only getting one mat, get the biggest that you can. It isn't something that you're going to need to buy every month. It's not going to need to buy another one. Have this, if you have got a workstation, have it on your workstation 24 seven. We've got other mats to bring you. They lend themselves to different projects. Maybe they're a bit more portable. Maybe you're only doing smaller projects, but your staple, amazing, all your cutting can be done on this mat. It's brilliant. Um, we have it on the desk virtually all of the time. If you see any of our guests coming in and they're doing demos, it's just such a great space. Uh, whether you work in metric or imperial, it is double-sided um, and it's just a great size. It's 90 by 60, which is 36 by 24 inches. And it is going to be delivered to you at no extra PMP costs, which I find amazing because it's going to be safely transported to you. It's big, it is weighty, um, and it's going to be uh, transported to you still with that one PMP. Now, we will get more, but as it stands, we've got less than five. And with all that's going on in the world right now, um, I really do suggest if you are starting out, don't try and use a chopping board or do you know what I mean? Don't try and use something different. Not that I've tried to use a chopping board, but I have heard a friend of a friend said to not. Uh, it's self-healing as well, so you're not going to get loads of indentations. Um, and all that you need to do is give it a wipe with a, a baby wipe or, you know, a, a microfiber cloth just to, to get rid of any of the, the fray, the bit of cottons, any lint that it may occur, and it will just really engage those self-healing properties. Now, a lot of um, cutters use this as a quick measure. So if you're thinking, uh, how big is this? I'm just going to check that this is two inches, uh, just two inches wide. And you can use it as a quick. I wouldn't say I'd go by this as, as gospel art. I would still go for my ruler, but it's great to check. It's great to just check that you, you squared up and you've got your angles. It's brilliant. Uh, other rulers. If you want to treat yourself, but do you know what it is with rulers as well? You've got your big one, you started off, and then you realise, actually, this is quite cumbersome, maybe if I'm doing a smaller project, or maybe I might need bigger. More for ease of use, more than anything else. So we've got a little variety. Should we go bigger? Let's go bigger. If you want to cut wider strips, this is, I think, the largest one that Creative Grids do. Yeah, it's the largest rectangle that Creative Grids do. Once again, I'm going to put this underneath just so you can see. Um, the measurements slightly clearer. Uh, you've got the same turnaround feature. You've got even more grips, as you can see, all around the perimeter. And what I love about the grip as well, you know when you were talking about the mat, we were saying the mat is a quick reference point for measurements. This is so accurate on here. And can you see the non-slip grip around this side? That is a quarter of an inch. So where you can see it's a frosted part, that is a perfect quarter of an inch. So I use that often just to check my seam allowance. Um, so that's brilliant. You've got the turnaround feature. So once again, at the bottom, it goes from one to eight and then one to 24 along the side. You're getting an extra two inches on here, which is brilliant if you're doing, you know, larger cuts, larger blocks, brilliant for that. Also your 60 degree angle, your 45 degree angle, you've got the turnaround feature that we love from Creative Grid, spin it 180 and then you've also got those half inch measurements and your quarter of an inch in white across the ruler. See how you've got the little hole here? This is great to, um, to, to be able to hang them all up. They all, all, all they suggest is you store them flat. Again, so whether it is 
under um, a, a sofa or under the under a chest of drawers. It's great to have them flat on the wall. How about hanging them? You can make yourself a little hanger, hang them on the back of a door, maybe in your workroom. Ideal for that. So they have thought of everything. Also, notice you've got your little QR reader if you want a bit more help of what the measurements are or different ways of using it. Then there's really good uh, instructional de uh, videos along with Creative Grid. They're just so robust. This isn't something that you're going to need to buy again and again and again. You look after it. They are creme de la creme quality. They will last the test of time. They really, really will. So that's the largest rectangle that Creative Grids offer. Should we then go on to the smaller re rectangle? We'll stick with rectangles. The reason I love this one is because you're working on a nine inch block, a six inch block, a four inch block. You're working with smaller blocks. You're doing sub cutting. You don't need necessarily to be, uh, to be, it's quite cumbersome, isn't it, sometimes to be able to be doing a, a bit of a rigmarole with the larger rulers. This is perfect for smaller blocks. Also, perfect for on the move. We all like to go to workshops, when we can go back to our workshops, when we can go back to our classes, it will be so, so nice to be able to have the correct tools all ready to go in your workroom, in your, uh, in your uh, bag ready to go to the workshops. But this is ideal to take on the move. It's still got every feature that we've just talked about, the turnaround feature, the non-slip grips, the really handy measurements, like your quarter of an inch along the side, your quarter of an inch lines across the, uh, the, the ruler. It's brilliant. <laughs> okay, Haley just said, this is a bit like why men need four drills, isn't it? it we all need our rulers. Uh, we need to chat to Gerardine about it, actually, because I think she counted that she'd got 30-something creative grids. We all need them, don't we? It's like our scissors. We need them. And it's good to be able to have the right tools for the right job, to be able to reach for the ruler that you know is going to be the easiest, the quickest, and the most sort of accurate and precise. You don't have to, to use too much brain power to be able to sort of uh, to work to work it I hate be having to do maths a any way of avoiding maths I will I will go for it and this has been really 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 useful indeed it's 17 pounds 99 but it's built to last six and a half inches by 12 and a half inches perfect for squaring up your blocks um, for for just yeah, absolutely. A good idea, actually. Hayley said she's got this one and it fits in a sewing machine bag. Ideal to just store it all away. If you haven't got a big dedicated sewing space or sewing room, it's easy to just pack away, isn't it? Uh, so that's the smaller rectangle that we have. This only launched recently, actually, and it's already sold really, really well. There's a lot of people who have, have taken advantage of that price. £17.99. We've then got three different squares. Three different squares. Oh no, in fact, the uh, the larger one we haven't got yet. That was a bit of a preview, we haven't got it yet. We haven't got it yet, it's coming soon, it's coming soon. We've got the eight inch square. Has it been on? Oh, we have got the 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So we have got it, amazing. Right, let's do it. This is the 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Perfect for squaring up your blocks. It is brilliant for squaring up your blocks. I like the way that you can see very, very clearly from the crosshair in white, or you can see with the uh, the diagonal lines as well. This is ideal to find your central point of your block very, very quickly. You can find the center point extremely quickly. And and again, do all of your, your necessary cutting, whether you're squaring up blocks, uh, whether you're using the half inch, or you're, whether you're using the, the full inch measurements. It's just really clear to use. Simple as cutting squares. Block two of the week is squares. They're four and a quarter inch squares that you're going to need to cut. So let's flip it around the right way. Um, so you've got, start with a straight, it's a lovely straight line as well. I know that sounds obvious, <laughs> but it really is. You, you won't believe actually some rulers that I've picked up that don't get me wrong, more affordable, but you kind of, you pay for what you do get what you pay for sometimes some of the rulers that I have picked up they're almost not even straight I've had to check it and think hang on is that straight this is really lovely straight and ever so thick so if you're working with a rotary cutter as well lovely and safe lovely and safe to use but if you do need to use there's four and a quarter you can see really quickly where your measurements are 
23 pounds and 99 pence for your non-slip squares. Once again, it glides over the ruler, but as soon as you apply pressure onto those grips, you can make that cut really accurately without it slipping and sliding over your fabric. If you are only buying one ruler, I would go for one of the 24, the, the long rectangles, but starting to build up your collection, same with the squares. If, you're, if you are thinking about buying a square, you're gonna be able to get, of course, less movement on bigger cuts. Uh, so I'd go for the larger square. But if you are working on smaller blocks, if you're doing more and more quilting and more and more cutting, did you see I had my um, I had my cutting helper? It's nice to have a cutting helper. I know so many people who have been saying they find cutting quite um, tiresome and lengthy process to do. With Creative Grids, it really does just shorten that time of cutting so we can get to the fun bit of sewing. Uh, £16.99, and again, you've got that perfect crosser, uh, cross hair through the centre so you can easily find that centre point very, very quickly, very accurately. It's got the turnaround feature. It's once again got all of the same markings that we were talking about with the rectangles. Your every eighth of an inch is marked, every quarter of an inch is marked, every full inch and every half inch. So it's really easy to navigate yourself around the ruler. Turn it around if you're working with half inches. Uh, so you can quickly find those. It's just so user friendly. It's designed for quilters. It's made by quilters, Rachel Cross, designed this one for just £16.99. So if you want to get the, the perfect square, for example, I know I've got my salvage and a really rough edge on this, but if you were to find, imagine it's all ready to cut, I want to do a three and a half inch cut, so I'd line that up and then very quickly and easily you've got a perfect perfect three and a half inch square. Um, in an ideal world, you'd be already cut it lovely. Um, but that's how quick and easy it is to cut any of these size squares up to eight inches. The smaller, the little baby one is so cute. Great for taking again up to your workshops. If you're doing anything up to a six inch square, you're gonna be able to do it exactly the same as I've just shown you. Uh, just line it up to, let me go to the other corner because it's a little straighter. Line it up to where you need. I'm gonna cut a four inch square. There's my four inch line, there's my four inch line. That is going to be a perfect four inch square. And you don't need to sort of second guess with Creative Grids. You know that they are renowned for their precision and their accuracy. Uh, so if you line it up and, and, and do your cutting correctly, then you will be able to line that up beautifully. If you've got to do uh, five and five and three eighths. Oh no, is that five and three eighths or is that five and, that's five and three quarters. Five and three quarters, lined up, there we go. And you would make that cut and you can very, very quickly, oh no, it would be there, wouldn't it? <laughs> you can see you've got your black line through the center. Find it on there first and then put your corner on that line. So let's say three, let's go for three. Um, there. Three inch square. For £14.99 you can do a six inch, well six and a half inch I should say actually, six and a half inch squares. Love it. Uh, it's more sort of portable. It's great for smaller projects, for smaller cuts. Uh, if you are working with smaller pieces, then you're not going to have to worry about, you know, moving a big cumbersome ruler around with it. That's the very last one that we've got. We've got the rotating cutting mat next, which actually would have helped me a lot with my Magic Lantern quilt. Uh, with my Magic Lantern quilt. With the block. I'm jumping ahead. It's going to be a quilt one day. After this lockdown, it will be a quilt. Uh, so the rotated cutting mat. Again, it's brilliant for precision and accuracy, but it's also really great for safety. If I told you I had my cutting helper in Kieran and my husband, and he's ever so useful. He is, isn't he? Well, that's what he said to me because I started to do it, and he went, Vic, I, "Honestly, this is—he does it all the time because he's does, he's uh, he, he does flooring and carpet, so he's constantly using his knife to cut in the right angles and do it all correctly." So I said, "Oh, come on, then you can do my cutting for me, and I'll do the the sewing." 
Um, but if you are using a cutting mat, he did start to go like this, all going round different funny angles, because I told him, you must not cut towards yourself. Whereas if you've got a rotating cutting mat, you can't always get to the other side of your desk, or you can't always sort of move round in these weird positions. This is going to eliminate that. If you imagine, you do your cut, you then want to keep your fabric in the same place to, again, make sure that it's nice and precise. You just simply rotate the, cut, the, uh, the cutting mat and you can make that second cut again without cutting towards yourself, without moving at a funny angle uh, and without moving, your, without moving your block. So you're keeping it in the same place, which is saving time and keeping your accuracy. But also for me, number one is being able to cut it really, really safely and efficiently. It comes in sort of two parts. The bottom part is like this lovely soft velvety finish which is going to just adhere to your mat or to your table and protect your table nicely. It's then got a lovely little circle in the centre which is like a little jigsaw puzzle that will just sit on top. It is a game changer really, it is a game changer. When you start cutting with a rotating cutting mat, the amount of guest designers that we have come in that say, oh have you got the rotating mat? It just makes life so much quicker and so much more simple. When I was doing this block, this is the one that I needed it for, um, this one. When I was sewing these on, when I was cutting the, sorry, the, the uh, triangles out, I made my cut and then thought, oh, how do I do the other one without moving it? And I ended up moving it and just rejigging it and it took me a couple of seconds to just work out I was doing it right. Whereas you could just turn it round and make that second cut a lot easier. You don't even have to have it perfectly aligned. Again, I know a lot of people do sort of think, oh, hang on, let me just check my, my measurements. I just want to see that I'll, I'm about right. I, I would still go more to your creative grid rulers, but it's a good sort of benchmark. It's a, a nice little reference point to, to see your sizes uh, and your angles, your 45 degree, 60 degree and 30 degree angles on there as well. It is one that we will see a lot of here at Sewing Street. As we get more back, you know, to normal with guest designers coming in and doing their demonstrations, you'll see this a lot. It doesn't come in different sizes, this is the only one that we bring you and it's £32.99 which will again last the test of time, last the test of time. Take it to your uh, workshops, great for on the move, a nice compact portable size but is really going to do the job. Let's face it, you don't need a bigger rotating cutting mat actually do you? Because this is normally when you're starting to put together blocks or doing some subcutting. It isn't when you're doing that main big half cutting by the, the half metre or metreage. It is more so for the smaller projects. So that is amazing. One of my favourites. Uh, one of my absolute top tips, must-haves at £32.99. Okay. Different ways of cutting. Uh, oh, in fact, actually, let's just do another portable uh, mat. Now, whether you've got the crafty product, the uh, the gyro cut, I know we're running out of time, so we've got to do this really quick. We've got it in aqua and we've got it in pink. If you're getting maybe children into uh, sewing or cutting, in, uh, and obviously you want to be supervising with them if they are cutting, but if you want to have a second mat, whether you're making it sticky for with your gyro cut for your applique, or whether you are just keeping it in your craft uh, work bag ready to go on the move, really nice and portable, nice to have next to your sewing machine maybe if you're doing things like cathedral window blocks and you need to do a lot of cutting and pressing and you don't want to get your big mat out, it's handy just just to have as a second mat because we've kept that early bird price. I wanted to talk to you about that actually Hayley. The, um, I, I was having a look on the website and I found some sneaky pieces on the website that are still at early bird prices. Have a look, take advantage whilst they're still on there. Okay Hayley's saying it's because we're new and we're obviously growing, we are keeping the early bird offers available for a little bit longer. I think they will be for one day only, that's what it normally is but for now I mean, we have been really, really cheeky keeping this open at 7 99 A lot of the early birds sell out during the day, so be careful. Um, but the pink is lovely as well. It's 7 99 I mean, this is Ulfa. When you're looking at brand names, when you're looking at names like Ulfa that are renowned for their cutting, they're renowned for their rotary cutters and their quality in mats, 
It's seven pounds ninety nine. Saving of five pounds. It's a self healing cutting mat, double sided as well. Um, you can pay a lot more than uh, than seven ninety nine for these, or twelve ninety nine for these. Uh, that's just our price, twelve ninety nine normally. Cutting mats, you do normally, it is more of an investment, so do make the most of that price point. It's self-healing, so it's not going to be, um, you know, damaging your mat or every, with every cut that you do. It's not going to be living indentations. It, it is a self-healing mat, which is great, isn't it? You've also got your two and a half inch strips on there, your one inch strips. You've got all of your angles, and you've got it in pink or blue. Just £7.99 if you've opened your order already. I'd definitely make the most of those. They're great to have. There's a second mat or a third mat even in a different room. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Other ways to cut. So we've got, well, I say other ways to cut. Tools to cut. Rotary cutters. So unlike um, with the creative grids, I am going to be a little less sort of biased towards the brand because I really like all of these. It's just a personal preference of what you prefer. Which one are we starting with? Let's start with Ulfa as we were looking at the cutting mat. Ulfa, this is probably our most famous rotary cutter. It's one that you'll see a lot on the show. It's brilliant for safety as well. If you're only going to buy one rotary cutter, this is the one that I would go for. I don't think, have we, got, we haven't got an open one, have we, Joe? But the safety guard on this is brilliant. So the button that you can see there, the button that we've uh, that you can see there, it will simply just um, lock and release very, very safely and very easily. It's a 45 millimeter rotary color, rotary cutter, which is your standard sort of size. So this is um, this is just simply with the grip, it will engage the blade, and then with a button, it will lock it in place. And the other one has got like a little slider. So I'll show you the difference. But we do love the Alpha. Very, very popular indeed. It's 19.99. It's lovely and it's got a great soft grip as well. So if you are doing a lot of cutting, um, it will reduce that sort of hand fatigue. For 19 pounds 99, 45 millimeters is your standard sort of uh, blade. We do do smaller, we do do bigger, but 45 is brilliant and it's the one that I would recommend if you are if you were buying your first ever rotary cutter. This is the one I believe that John Cole Morgan uses, or one that's very similar with the lever button like this. It's just personal preference. Whatever you do though, when you are starting to learn to cut, always just get into the habit after you've made the cut to, to close your blade off as they are very, very sharp indeed. Easy to change, easy um, to, uh, to change over whether you're using it as a right hand or a left hander. They're both ambidextrous, so you can use them right or left-handed. This one, again, has got a lovely soft grip uh, and really easy to use. Clover's another great brand, and it's a brilliant price. We all have different budgets, so that one's another very, very affordable one at £12.99. Uh, we've also got the smaller ones. So I'm thinking if you're starting to do foundation paper piecing, maybe you're thinking, right, in lockdown, I'm absolutely going to conquer it. I'm going to have a go and conquer it. John Cole Morgan has absolutely inspired me to have a go at foundation paper piecing um, because I know he's a big fan of it and he just doesn't seem phased by it. He doesn't seem phased by it. And I'm like, what? Hang on. But foundation paper piecing is really complicated. It's not. It's not, it's like, color, it's like coloring in by numbers, sewing with numbers. Um, so if you are using foundation paper piecing and cutting paper, maybe you want another rotary blade for that. That's £8.99, it's 28 millimetres, or going curves, if you're, if you're cutting curves as well, it's, it's a lot easier than having a, a larger rotary cutter. I'd go with your 45 for your main cutting, but it's good to have a second one. For, for curves or for foundation paper piecing. If you're doing really little bits and bobs and you don't, if you if you do love rotary cutters and you, you're not really a scissor sort of person, you could do some really intricate cutting out with this. Wavy border rulers suggest using a smaller one. Again, you can use this with right or uh, left-handers. So uh, if, you, if, if you do want to reverse it, it's very, very easy to do. Great for cutting out more delicate and intricate patterns. It's got exactly the same lever as you saw before. Easy to change the blade. What about a freehand cut when you're not using a ruler? This would be ideal for that as well. What about if you're making lovely little doll's clothes or something? That would be so cute. And it, it is just handy. Again, less cumbersome. Like with the rulers, I'd go with the larger one to start with, but for less than £10, it's a good chance to try it out. And again, from Clover, 
so you know that you can trust that brand. Now, something talking about Clover, this is back to the 45 millimeter, but this is actually from, I did have the packet somewhere. This is from Fiscus. Um, we've changed the blade. I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Um, we've changed the blade this morning from a Fiskars blade. It is into a, a Clover rotary cutter, yes, uh, but you can use it with any standard 45 uh, millimeter rotary cutter. And this will give you a really cool pinked edge. So whether you are a dressmaker, whether you're a bag maker, whether you're a quilter, whether you just want a lovely decorative edge, this is brilliant. I absolutely love this. I've never actually used it before. I've always kept it in the packet and it's, you just put it in exactly like you would your normal rotary cutter. Still be very, very careful because it's very sharp, but you can use it along with your rulers. Uh, and you can see you've got that lovely pinked edge. How amazing is that? So I'm thinking if you want to do trims on, okay, little doll's clothes, I'm thinking like little coats. It's just the blade. It is just the blade. It's fiscus, but it does fit any of your standard 45 millimeter rotary cutters. And it will give you that lovely pinked edge, decorative or practical, because you know how much cotton frays. I mean, look at that, it does fray. If you get any, uh, if you get any uh, of our charm packs or any of the charm packs that are out there, you probably see they're all pink edged because cotton does fray. It frays naturally. So that will reduce and stop the fraying. But also if you haven't got an overlocker to finish your edges with, uh, with dressmaking, this is a good alternative to do. And so quick, so quick and easy to do. So, so quick. Thinking shears are fabulous, but sometimes they are quite intense cutting, aren't they, having to do it? I just did the same action as Haley, and I can't see her, she's upstairs, but very quickly, and you can do one continuous line. So quite often with pinking shears, if you stop and start again, you might not get that, you get a different pattern. So if you've got your big ruler and you want to do the final cut, decorative applique, this would be brilliant for as well. Oh, I'm thinking all sorts now. Bag making for trims. What about making little gift labels? You need to get this for your sister for gift labels, Hayley. They're perfect, aren't they, for nice little gift tags. £6.99, remember, it is just the blade. It's from Fiskars and it's a pinking edge. Love it, love it, love it. Anything that we haven't done this hour, don't worry, we'll bring it into the last hour. I don't know where that hour's gone. It's gone so, so quick. Um, right. What we're going to do in the next hour is come back straight away with that Susan Briscoe book, which I know so many of you are after. It's brilliant. If you haven't seen it already, oh, it's my favourite ever quilting book. So I'm so pleased that we've managed to get it back in stock. It was on air once and sold out completely. So we've got it back. Um, don't go anywhere. We've still got so much more to pack into our final hour. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon.
Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved and it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to give you my top tips on how I go about enjoying my sewing experience. My first top tip, as everybody knows, rotary cutter safety. If you're not using it and it's not on the mat, that blade must be locked. Please be safe. My second top tip is always buy more fabric than you need. If you don't have it, it's always going to sell out. You're going to struggle to find it and when you do, it's going to cost you a lot more than when you were going to buy it originally. So buy it all. You always regret the bit you didn't buy. My next tip is Positive or negative, always listen to the advice and opinions of other people. Even if you ignore them, everybody has a different perspective, everybody has a different take on things, and it might help you along the way. The next top tip I have is always buy the most expensive and the most useful and the most practical for your brain product that works for you. Some people prefer different things, buy what works for you. And my last tip is, this is fun, this is enjoyable, and make sure you are enjoying it. Because there's nothing worse than carrying on with something and hating it and not enjoying it. You need to make sure that you're having fun. Those are my top tips and how it is that I enjoy my sewing experience. I hope they help you, because they have helped me. For more handy tips and demonstrations, make sure you watch us on our Freeview channel 74, Sky channel of 670, otherwise follow us on YouTube on Sewing Street, where you can catch up on past demonstrations and shows. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome back. It's so lovely to have your company. And it's really nice. I've got I've got a lot of company today. It feels lovely. I've got Hayley upstairs, keeping a distance away from us, but she's upstairs in the uh, in the gallery. She's very much in my ear today, which is it's delightful. I didn't mean to sound sarcastic then. It really is. I've really missed you. I have missed you a lot. But um, she's been reading all the messages that have been coming in and we've had so many. A, a great one from Susan, actually, that's just messaged in saying Susan said she was sceptical of Creative Grizz. She said it is a bit of a higher price point. Uh, she said, but she was really, she was really not very good at cutting and she said it showed in her work. Um, but she said... She was completely, she's completely been converted. She says it's improved her work no end and she's building up her collection of rulers now, of creative grid rulers, and she says it's a pleasure to work with. So thank you very, very much because we love to hear messages like that. It really does make such a difference. So please do message in if you um, love working with creative grid. Now, I could spend the whole hour talking about this book. I honestly can. We've got 
the most gorgeous, and it could be last chances on a lot of these Liberty fabrics. It's the most gorgeous collection. I've told you before, it's my favorite collection. The rainbow bundles are about to sell out, so I just thought I'd quickly mention those. They are amazing value for money and you missed them earlier on in the show they're back in stock less than 25 pounds so do make the most of those um do you want to go straight into the book or do you want me to update you on the early bird no book okay right this book came in um quite early on into the 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 program actually when we launched the show and it sold out in one showing because of this this is a book that is less than 10 pounds and absolutely think that this is the best quilting book that you can buy whether you're a beginner or whether you're an advanced at any point of quilting I think every single one of us needs to have this book why it's by Susan Briscoe those of you that have seen her on air she is a fountain of knowledge her history um, and you know all of the techniques that she shares with Sashko and, and, and Kogan um, but she's also an incredible quilter there's no other book like this I've never seen a book like it so are you ready should we dive in 400 tips techniques and trade secrets as sweet secrets secrets for making quilts uh, from Susan Briscoe and it is just amazing right at the start it's a book in itself the introduction uh, it talks talks to you about the book and what you're going to experience. It talks to you about choosing equipment and why you're choosing certain equipment and what's the best rotary cutters. It goes into such depth. Look at what they've got here. Creative grids, creative grids. Um, your sewing machine, buying a sewing machine. Which one is right for you? Second hand machines, moving your machine. It's so, so detailed. Uh, gadgets. Quilting gadgets, what's going to be more of a gadget or what's going to be essential? Uh, what's going to really help along your quilting journey? How to prepare your fabrics. We talk about this a lot. The question, to wash or not to wash? That is the question. Different types of cotton. You think, ah, oh, working with spots and stripes and mini prints, stripes. There's so many different fabrics to, uh, to, to work with and how to prepare them. Working with uh, velvets, working with lace, working with nets and cottons and velours. There's so much about fabrics. How to dye your own fabric. Storing, preparing your scraps and your fabric. How about aging it using tea bags? I mean, this section is just the intro and she goes into such depth about um, how to prepare your fabrics and choosing your fabrics, which I absolutely love. Printing photos on fabric. What a great idea to personalize, make a family, family tree quilt even. See what I mean about the value for money in this? This isn't a project book. This is an absolute encyclopedia of quilting. The color wheel, picking out colors, talking about colors. I told you I could talk about this for the whole hour. I got some post-it notes to, to just mark in key points that I wanted to show you. And then I said, I've got to show it you all. It's just brilliant. Working with patterns can be scary. There's, there is some great examples in here of, of some great patterns which you can try out as well. Uh, different style genres, different quilt inspirations, the history, of course. We were looking at Susan Briscoe book. She's going to dive into history of quilting as well. Then it goes into Susan, it goes into our cutting. Not Susan Briscoe, our Susan who's just messaged in, <laughs> who wanted some help, but she said she's been helped no end with the creative grid rulers. But if you are struggling with cutting, this book is going to help you teach you about fussy cutting, teach you about patchwork techniques, your machine with great photographs. You can see why this sold out very, very quickly in the first set, in the first showing. And this is the reason I've been telling you about it the whole show long. We've got less than 40 now and we had loads of these in this time. So please, please do be aware. If you haven't yet checked out on your basket, please do it now. Uh, Victoria Carrington did a great demonstration um, on of seminal quilting and I'd never seen it before and we've seen it on the um, on the Facebook fan page a lot since Victoria did that demonstration there's a section on there flying geese variations foundation paper piecing I mentioned that earlier how to do foundation paper piecing 
This is, as I say, whether you are brand new or whether you're thinking, ah, how is it that you do that Y seam? How do I do a mitered corner? It's one that even if you're not a new quilter, you're gonna be able to pick up so many brand new techniques. Do you know how to do freehand curves? Do you know how to do EPP? This is a great technique to learn, especially this time of year, a nice slow sew. Assembling your quilt, Japanese folded patchwork, Sometimes not knowing how to do something will prevent you to, to, to of course, we're, we're all creatures of habit. We'll do something we know how to do. With a book like this, we've got extra time to do, we, to do it at the moment. Of course, we all have. So it's a great chance to think, right, I haven't done a plique. I haven't done foundation paper piecing. I haven't tried a uh, needle turn applique. We've now got less than 30. Have you ever seen Hawaiian applique? Have a go. It's like the reverse. It's just brilliant how about bias strips applique you can do some great sort of celtic designs or cathedral uh, window sort of designs it's really clever i love this book i love it you can see that susan to say that this book is less than 10 pounds she is such an expert she's an amazing teacher and she's such a fountain of knowledge and she's put it all in here She's put it all in here. There's nothing sort of skimped. There's so many different uh, elements and techniques to learn. Textiles. I haven't even got to my favorite part of this yet. Wadding, tacking, choosing the right wadding. Making your quilt sandwich. Quite often, um, a, a lot of books and a lot of patterns will sort of skim over the end bit. They'll talk to you about the patchwork, but they won't actually talk to you about the quilting. Hand quilting, machine quilting, I mean pages on it, not just a small section, free motion with a walking foot, it's brilliant. Then, right, you get to the point that you think, right, I'm investing in a long arm quilting machine, I'm going to do it. Oh, John Cole Morgan's got one and he loves it. Um, but it talks to you about why might you want a long arm quilting machine, what it provides, using it, and then... It will talk to you, oh, I haven't got to it yet. I'm still, I'm flicking ahead. Quilt as you go. Of course, there was going to be a Sashko section. More hand quilting, great traponto, adding some uh, texture and depth to your quilts, which we haven't seen for ages. Binding and finishing. Mitered corners, curved edges. It just goes on and on and on. Labelling your quilt is so important that we're labelling our quilts. These are quilts, hopefully, that of course are going to be passed down through generations. I've just finished a quilt for my brand new nephew that's about to be born any day now. I'm so excited and I've just sewn in. I did the last bit of hand sewing with sewing in the quilt label and it's so nice to just sit and do a little bit of slow sewing. Um, making a group quilt. When we get the chance, no, when we get chance, my favourite bit's right at the end. Well, I say that, there's so many favourites. As you can tell, I love this book. It's less than £10. If you think the price per technique, it's just mind-blowing. You could pick a technique a week that you want to learn to do and put it all into a big sampler quilt even. Making a group quilt, when we get the chance to go back to group workshops, or you could even say virtually online, right, you're going to do this one, you're going to do this one, like our team are doing, I don't know if you've seen on Facebook, Hayley and, uh, and Hannah have all been doing the block of the weeks. Loads of tips online. There's lots of blogs, there's YouTube, there's Pinterest. Yes, you can get information. I like the fact that this is crammed into one book that you can physically hold, it's in front of you. Make it your own, make your own notes, put your post-it notes in and enjoy it. Quite often we all get into the habit of, you know, searching the internet and then hours go by and you still really haven't got any further than you wanted to. I like having a physical book, that encyclopedia to be able to see and go back to in years to come. Find the page that was really helpful. I love this part. There aren't any other quilting books that I've seen that then say, right, you're at the point now, you've learned all these techniques, why not exhibit? Why not go to a show and exhibit? Why not enter competitions? It talks to you, it talks to you at all points of your quilting journey. Whether you just want to pick it up because you think, right, it's 10 pounds, there's loads of blocks in here and there's lots of techniques I can learn. But then if you're thinking, right, where do I go with this? Talks to you about how and where to exhibit your quilts. Organising an exhibition. <laughs> Running an exhibition. Visiting large shows. It talks to you about what to do at the shows. Preparing for your exhibition days. I mean, how amazing is this? It then will talk to you about entering competitive shows. I tell you what, 
This is, if those of you that have met Susan Briscoe on the show, or if you've met her at our show, if you've met her at an exhibition, because I know she's a, a lot all up and down the country, she's very, very busy. Um, but this is just, this is just Susan to a T. This is not leaving anything out. This is absolute details and, and making sure we're all prepared. How to hang your quilts, how to display them, how to, if you're sending them as a gift for somebody, how to, to, to store them and collect them and package them correctly. Caring for your quilt, it's just brilliant. So, and then all of your measurements in metric and imperial, a conversion chart. So as I say, it is brilliant. Useful addresses, how nice is that? Glossary. My favourite was being able to enter competitions because I'm ready. I'm ready to set, I'm so competitive, aren't I? I'm ready to do my own exhibition. <laughs> Uh, no, about 99. Do, do you, I don't know whether you've thought about this though. We keep sitting at home thinking, what can we do? Like, I want to be able to, to do something with my life that I think, right, during that lockdown period that we'll all remember forever, we'll say, I want something to show for it. I want to be able to say, I entered a competition. Right, now, there's 20 five books left at 20 past 10 on the live show if you're watching on a replay definitely worth checking availability of that the rrp is 12.99 we've got it for 9.99 which was uh, a, a surprise to susan as well actually so we love 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 that i'm so pleased you love it as much as i do there's so many great tips from the trade that is susan briscoe's uh, compendium of quilting techniques for 9.99 enjoy it it's brilliant. It will sell out today. It will be, we'll try and get more, but it's taken us months to be able to get that back. Okay, the early bird today. Just a quick look at the early bird because it is such a fantastic deal. Uh, so there's a very big department store that sell just one of these. This exact one for £6.50. Today is an early bird sesh special. You're getting two, two pairs of embroidery scissors. We could have matched the price of the department store and it would have been brilliant. We've gone so much lower. You're saving two pounds from a sewing street price, but elsewhere, it's brilliant. Five pounds and 98 pence. And they just look so expensive, don't they? They look like they're solid silver. They're not, but they look so antique -y. They do look like they've been passed down. And they're really beautiful and sharp to the point. I'm thinking anybody that's doing a bit of hand sewing in the garden, if you're doing some EPP, if you're doing sewing machine, if you, you, you want them just by your sewing machine, if you want them for on the move, you know, if um, then these are, are really handy for that. Less than six pounds, they're already flying out. We can't buy them back in for that price point. They're less than three pound a pair of scissors, so it's definitely worth making the most of them before they go, because they won't come back. So, we've got the fat quarters and we've got the half meters. Um, half meters to start with, those of you um, that have been watching regularly, you may have seen this is the latest collection of Liberty and it is absolutely incredible. I'd go as far as saying, I think it's my favourite ever Liberty collection. It's stunning. I love the colours, I love the patterns, but also I love the sort of heritage of this collection. I love the the um, the, the desire, the, the, where the inspiration of the, the prints have come from. And it's called the Winterbourne House Range. So whilst I had uh, time at home, I was sitting and I was Googling and having a look at Winterbourne House. And if you do the same, I've actually got... Um, Oh, if I do a big swipe, I've been told that this will open and I can't get to grips with it at all. Um, if you Google Winterbourne House, you'll be... <laughs> That's what I'm doing, Joe. Look. It's not going to the... Right. Just... I'm pressing it. Me and Hayley were saying this. You know when something doesn't work and then you, you do it in front of somebody else and it works automatically and it's really annoying and you're thinking, it wasn't doing that. <laughs> no, not working. Um, but have a look. Google Winterbourne House. Um, and it's actually in Birmingham. Uh, so we're here based in the Midlands. And as well as going on a field trip to Bali, I also would love to visit Winterbourne House because you can go there um, when it's open. Of course, when it opens back up, we'll be able to go there. You can hire it out. They do great events. They've got beautiful botanical gardens. Yeah, Winterbourne House. It's amazing. And it's only in Edgebaston. But it's 
Um, in fact, I think if you have a look at this slide that Joe's, uh, I had, I've taken this from the Liberty London website, um, which is a bit of a blurb about the Winterbourne House range uh, collection. Liberty Fabrics Winterbourne Quilting Collection draws inspiration from the arts and crafts movement. The creative period from 1860 to 1910. Uh, now in that arts and crafts movement as well, we, we saw the William Morris. So you might, if you love William Morris, you'll love this collection. When English designers led the return to high quality and handmade goods, creating elegant, elegantly stylized interpretations of botanical and historical motifs. Named after the exquisite arts and crafts period villa in Birmingham, uh, these prints draw upon the interior of the house and family who once lived there. And on the website, which is winterbornehouse.org, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually see more about the family, more about the house. They've got William Morris wallpaper. I mean, it's just amazing. But you can see straight away this Liberty collection. Normally, Liberty, you see lots of little ditzy prints. This is quite a big, bold, Edwardian uh, print. It's amazing. This is what I love about Liberty. Completely timeless. They take timeless art and they put it into modern quality quilting fabric. So this is something you can quilt with. This is something that you could do dressmaking with. Well, I say that. This is the bundle. So these are all half a metre. £74.90. You're getting 11 designs. You get all of them. That's classic, iconic, beautiful Liberty. And that was the full collection in the teal. So they did three colorways, the teal, the uh, gray, and the pink. We have only got the gray in the fat quarters. We've got the pink available by the half meter, but the teals are now extremely, extremely limited by the half meter. And have you noticed the price? You are getting half a metre of Liberty Winterbourne House Rain fabric for free. We're just throwing in half a metre. So your price um, should be more than this. It should be probably uh, another seven, £7.49 more. Saving £7.49 on this one. And I love it. If you're looking, people don't do offers on Liberty. Do you know there are certain designers that, let's say for example, designer shoes, they do their classic shoe that will never be reduced or the classic handbag that just doesn't get reduced. Liberty, you don't see uh, reductions on the fabric because they're so iconic and they're so classic and they're in such demand. So yeah, that's a little one from Haley, our Sewing Street um, head of TV, who said you can have an extra half metre for free. So you're getting all of the bundle for £74.90. The quality of Liberty is absolutely stunning. You can feel that as soon as you open, uh, as soon as you open your fabric, you'll be able to feel it's so, so soft. It's 100% cotton. It's machine washable. So if you're going to make a timeless quilt or even smaller projects, uh, this one's called Wood Haze in teal. And I'm thinking lots of these are gonna be great for larger projects. So if you are thinking of just having, I mean, even half of this, a fat quarter, as a cushion front. Joe was actually Googling a couple of days ago how much Liberty cushions were without even trying to find expensive ones. The first ones that came up were between 150 and 200 pounds. Cushions, Liberty cushions. So, I mean, they are, don't get me wrong, you could probably get more affordable. But I just wanted to give you an update on this collection as it's been my favorite. Uh, we wanted to bring them back today because we've got really limited stock now. In fact, there's less than five of the whole teal range. Maybe you've got a whole, maybe you've got a quilt in mind, or maybe you're thinking, um, oh, I want to own it. I want to have it on my shelf. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I really want to, I, I, I know I love these colors and these prints. Make the most of it whilst you can. We've only got, well, we've got five, exactly five. Five of the teal, complete half metre collection. Um, I think these are great for fussy cutting as well. So even if you're taking elements of these Liberty prints, even if you're only using a small part of your half metre, it's gonna go a long, long way, isn't it? 74 pound 90. You can buy them individually, whatever is available, uh, but the bundle itself, if you can't make up your mind, you're thinking, right, just have half a metre of everything. And you're getting, of course, uh, £7.49 off by getting half a metre for free. Um, 
it, it is definitely worth making the most of that bundle deal, without a shadow of a doubt. It's absolutely beautiful and it's so much fabric. I mean, that is just gonna keep going and going and going, especially if you're teaming it up with one of your solids, for example. We'll come and we'll bring this back in in a minute, but if you're thinking, right, actually, I'm just gonna take elements of it and I'm not gonna back my cushions with, um, with Liberty or I'm not gonna line my bags with Liberty. Uh, if you're making little makeup bags or toiletry bags or gifts for people, this is going to just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on, isn't it? £74.90. So you're getting 11 half metre pre-cuts, all cut, ready to go. £6.81 a half metre. For Liberty, quilting weight. It is quilting cotton weight. Okay, I'm going to update you on quantity on those as we go along. We're going to uh, have a look at the pinks. So again, if you want the whole colourway, I can't make up my mind. I love the whole range. I love. Did we ever do like a mega bundle of... No, because we didn't have the greys, did we? So if you do want them, if you do want both of them, I can't make up my mind which are my faves. I do like these. I do like these a lot. And they will mix in with so many fabrics in your stash. You've got the name, you've got the brand, you've got the, the quality to back it up. And uh, quite often, actually, if you go to Liberty London, if you go into the store and you go to see their, all the fabrics, don't quote me on this, um, but I'm pretty sure the last time I sort of found out, I'm sure you can't buy by the half metre. I think you have to buy. It's either a metre or it might even be a metre and a half or two metres. I'm not sure, but it's definitely not half a metre. You have to, you can't just buy pre-cuts like this. So it's a really great way of having, uh, you know, enough fabric still to do with half a metre. You can still make a lot of projects. You'll still be able to do a lot with it. But... Can you imagine? It would be a lot more costly if you were having to buy a metre of each. Um, they're all from this beautiful Winterbourne house range, which if you're anything like me and you struggle to put together colours and scales of print, if you like it done for you, it doesn't get better than Liberty. They know their stuff. When they're putting together quilting weight cottons, a collection like this, they've thought about the different scales of print. They've thought about the different textures and the different colours that they're all going to work together so, so well. Just £74.90. Can we put them next to each other just so you can see how well these all do work together? You've got lovely blues, you've got pinks, you've got greys, you've got ivories. You've got so many different colours that are going to work so, so well together. They are going to work so well. And do you know what? I always think this overhead camera doesn't do the colours justice. When you get it home, they're really, really beautifully vibrant. Um, that one's gorgeous as well, the blues. Wait till you get this home, it is so soft. See, that one's amazing. I'd buy that one by the half meter and do a lovely summer dress with that one. Imagine a Liberty summer dress. Remember, these all are half meter pre-cuts, uh, so they're already cut ready to go, but for soft furnishing, they're brilliant. Okay, already people checking out on these. We've got three left of the Mega Bundle on this one. And Hales, I don't know how what our plan is of getting more of the Winterbourne house range in will be. At the moment, we're, we're unable to order any more in. Um, so as far as we're aware, for the foreseeable future, we won't be seeing any more. Uh, once this is gone, this is gone. The thing is, of course, we want to be able to bring you different collections. We want to make sure that everybody's all kitted out with new fabrics, but also, I, quite, I know that a lot of people who may have bought this a couple of weeks ago are thinking, ah, I'm just running low on this one or stock up now whilst you can because once it's gone, I don't think we're going to be able to get that one back uh, very easily anytime soon. So all of these are half metres. Let me open this one out so you can see once again what half a metre looks like. It's 112 wide. It's such a beautiful pattern, isn't it? Beautiful pattern, great colours. Can, I can see that as wallpaper in the Winterbourne house. I absolutely could. A rug or soft furnishings, you know, cushions or chairs, armchairs that were just uh, uh, upholstered in this. It looked beautiful. 74 by 90 and they will all be that size. That is a lot of fabric. We won't have time to be able to do them each individually by the half meter today. But if you look on our website, anything that is available will be listed there.
So if you are thinking, ah, oh, yes, I'm thinking soft furnishings or, or dressmaking with any of these, because even though they're quilting cottons, they're definitely suitable still for dressmaking or bag making. Um, so if you are thinking of that, have a look on the web and all of the uh, fabrics that are available by the half metre are on there. Okay, so that is the very last three chances to get this now at £74.90. And you are still getting that extra special saving. Uh, you're getting a half a metre in there for free. It's the whole range in the pink. We didn't have the grey. The only way of getting the grey is in the fat quarters. Do you want to do that next? Let's do the grey in the fat quarters because these are very, very, very limited. Oh, I know, if we can get this by the half metre, the greys, we absolutely will. We'll, get, we'll try and get it in because it's been so, so popular indeed. Oh, do you want me to show you on, um, there you go. Uh, look at the colours. This is my cup of tea. This is my cup of tea because my house, very much uh, greys and neutral tones. But I'd love to just add a, a cushion, a bolster cushion or... Uh, you know, just a very simple cushion with a piped edge, not even cutting this up to do patchwork. It could be your very, very first project, a tote bag even, with liberty. I mean, how amazing is that? Uh, at these sort of prices as well, have a go, go for it. You can make beautiful purses. How about nice toiletry bags, makeup bags, makeup rolls? You could make pin cushions, scissor keepers, storage pouches. There is so much that you're going to be able to do. And if you're gifting for somebody that isn't necessarily up on all of the quilt designers, maybe they haven't heard of Tula Pink or maybe they haven't heard of Anna Maria Horner or Kate Fassett, I guarantee they will know Liberty. Liberty is one of those. It's like William Morris. It's just in quite a lot of our high street, or I say high street stores, it's like your... Um, when you go to a, a National Trust house or when you go to a big department store, of course, Liberty London is just iconic, isn't it? It is. It's so sophisticated and so, well, it's just known to be expensive. It is. So if you do see cushions or bags that are Liberty, you can, oh, you can expect a massive price. Um, all of the greys are just gorgeous. The pink's beautiful as well. That's amazing. Have a look at how much you can pay for a Liberty bag. Google it. Have a look how much you can pay for a Liberty bag. Um, obviously, it's Liberty. This is using Liberty elements. You could use genuine Liberty fabric. It's not, oh, it, it looks a bit like a Liberty fabric, doesn't it? This is Liberty fabric. Comes in a lovely box, like a, a box with all your fat quarters, talking about the, the Winterbourne range, uh, Winterbourne house range, for $42.99. A Liberty canvas tote bag. Hayley just found it's £495. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about in Liberty London. Uh, it, it is one of the most famous department stores of the world, isn't it? People who travel to London from all over the world want to go to Liberty. It's so famous. Um, but to be able to have those fabrics and to be able to make your own personalised pieces, maybe uh, just small projects like scissor keepers, pin cushions, one half metre, just one, uh, sorry, one fat quarter. Let me open it out. If you've got any of our books, there's a Wendy Gardner, a great one on the website, um, which is has got lots of different, uh, there's gifts, there's one for home. The gift one's brilliant, it's nearly sold out. Uh, the home one, again, great to make little projects using a fat quarter, just using one of those, half of your half metre. There's so much that you're going to be able to do for just £42.99. What about if you're doing EPP? How about how many hexes are you going to be able to get out of just one fat quarter? And together, this could be your slow sew of this year. This could be the one that you actually, we're all in a rush all the time. I think this, uh, this lockdown situation we're all in has made us all slow down. Maybe you're still whizzing through on your, your quilting on your machine, but maybe you also want to just do a bit of slow sewing. EPP is a great one to get into. Um, Right, the pink fat quarters and the teal fat quarters. I'm not going to go through them all like I did on that because I don't know where the time's going today, but we're, we're limited on time. Pink first, uh, £42.99. And again, you're getting all of those prints that you saw in the half metre, but this time in fat quarters. They're already pre-cut. They're ready to go. We are extremely limited. You're getting 11 fat quarters, which is equivalent to 2.75 metres. But to be able to get all of these different 
prints, being able to see all of the different colours. Just $42.99. See, I love that one. This again just reminds me of uh, uh, the Winterbourne House, that beautiful Edwardian uh, era, the arts and crafts sort of movement. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Poppies. Lovely pink poppies. Even if you were looking at like a cravat or a pocket square or uh, just cuffs on a shirt or pockets on a shirt or one flap on a bag, just adding that. Do you know the, um, the cotton canvas, the navy blue cotton canvas that we started the show with earlier on, the, the bundle that we did? Have a look underneath there's the sky blue, the navy blue and teal I think it came with. That navy blue and this it would look amazing with this and you could just add a flap of Liberty on the front of a bag or on the side of a pocket and it would look amazing. Just part of this fat quarter. I do. Do you know sometimes when you see bags, Hayley's saying that she likes it when you've got a bag and the inside of it is really, really posh, the lining of it is really posh, or the lining of pockets on, on a jacket, a blazer, or the lining of pocket in a pair of trousers. Just having that little flash of liberty, even binding, I mean, even just a strip of liberty. I mean, there's so much that you're going to be able to do with this. Get creative, and at these prices, I would take advantage whilst we've got it. It is really fancy, isn't it? Really fancy. I can't believe I'm saying this on every single one of these. We've now got less than five of the grey. Slightly more quantity on the pink, but I still wouldn't be hesitating because there's less than 15 of, of both. Less than 15 on the fat quarters. We're coming up to 10 left on the book. Um, I think this is going to sell out again today, which... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go on about it as crazy as, as I did because um, everyone's not going to have a look at it, uh, looking at it again, are they? Debbie and Paul John aren't going to get a look in on this one. Um, it's Susan Briscoe's techniques are in such thorough detail. It's a huge book, but it's a great go-to. Do you know what? This is like the Mary Poppins book because look, it isn't huge. It's a nice size. It's not going to take up all of your, your, your bookshelf. Uh, but inside, it's just like, hang on, there's more in there and there's more and there's more and there's more and there's more. It is literally like that Mary Poppins carpet bag or there's so much in there. It's brilliant. We're coming up to just 10 left at 9.99 the rrp is 12.99 i could spend the whole hour talking about it i love it my pick of the show is 9.99 so um I, these are the ones i've dropped aren't they one second so the teal fat quarters will come to as well teal fat quarters are extremely limited the teals by the half meter have been really really popular indeed you've got 42 not 42, 42.99, you've got 11 fat quarters, all with the same prints that we've been looking at this time in the teal colourway. I think that's one of my favourites, you know. That's one that would be just lovely as a little flash of colour, pop of colour in a, in a sleeve or in a pocket or on a bag. Just having that one, just elements, would be beautiful. Some of these larger scale prints I'd have as a cushion front. Remember, mix and match. The great thing about uh, getting a collection like this is I think it's going to mix and match with, obviously, yes, your pink and your greys. If you're mixing and matching, buying any of your fat quarters, it's a great chance to, to know that you've got the whole collection then. And I think we're the only company, uh, we're the only shopping channel that will bring you all of these three colourways. I don't think anybody else brings you the whole range of colour separately in fat quarters, which is Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And so you've got the whole range to make the most of. I love those though. Again, that one's really nice. £42.99. So if you do want to make the most of it, also, they'll go with every other Liberty collection. I think these will look really lovely with some of your Moders. They'll look really nice with your classic William Morris. I think it's going to be one that you keep actually taking and thinking, ah, oh, I'm going to take uh, another one of those. I'm going to take another one of those. Uh, now, if you do want to make it go that bit further, um, because obviously we're looking at very designer fabric, maybe you are just taking an element here and an element there. Maybe you're appliquing some of those poppies onto a cream or is that a crew cream or what are the two up ivory so we've got cream and we've got ivory we'll do cream first is this your two meter bundle 
two meters. Two meters already cut. So it's two meters cut. It's going to be brilliant to uh, applique onto for cushion backs, for looking at uh, quilting as well. Uh, this is perfect. £12.46. Sorry, I was just hesitating there because I was thinking, hang on. That is really good value, isn't it? It's a saving of £1.50. This wasn't Debbie's early bird, was it, by any chance? No. Right, I think the early bird was four metres or two and a half. I was going to say, that saving is brilliant. It's a brilliant saving, isn't it? Saving of £1.50 for just £12.46. Do you know what? Whether you're working with your liberties and you want to make it go a bit further or whether you're just stocking up your stash, the saving on this is brilliant. The value for money is fantastic and it's just going to be one of those that you can always go to in your stash. Whether you're going with your rainbows, with your barley pot batiks, with, oh, in fact, it would look lovely with all of these colours as well. Having that as a background, uh, back of a cushion, or it's just going to go with everything, isn't it? So that's your cream, 100% cotton. Let me show you the difference, because on a telly it's probably going to look exactly the same, but you can see, I think the cream is slightly warmy, warmer. It's like a vanilla ice cream. You've got slightly, uh, s very slightly, is that better? Yeah, you can see that is slightly yellower. The ivory is... It's an off-white, isn't it? It's an off-white. Quite a lot of wedding dresses are ivory. They're not actually white, but they're, they're ivory because it's slightly softer on the eye. So it's not a stark white. Um, and therefore, I think this will blend. Your, your ivory will blend with lots of fabrics. Don't get me wrong, this is gorgeous too. Your cream's just a bit warmer. Let's go for the ivory. Same price, same saving, brilliant. So once again, this is cut into two meter pre-cuts. So if you're multi-buying on this, they will come as two meter cuts. For £12.46 with a £1.50 saving. It just looks like a quite a white screen, but it is ivory, 100% cotton, two meters. It's designed as a backing bundle. So if you do want to back cushions, back quilts, um, it's just £12.46. How wide is this out of curiosity? 112, it's, it's your normal quilting width. Um, but if you want to piece together, then this is a, a great chance to just multi-buy to be able to, uh, to piece them together for backing as well. Just 12.46. Okay, they've been really popular. This is the thing, is that you're always gonna need them. Bag lining for quilting, for, uh, for backing cushions with, uh, for, for dressmaking as well, it's ideal. There's so many opportunities of using that. I'd just stock up your stash. Um, right, what did you say? Did you just say tent? Making dens. Oh, have you been making forts at school? Hayley's um, going to win like Teacher of the Year with Ofsted, aren't you? With homeschooling, Joseph. She says we've been making tents and forts. That sounds so cool. Right, we've got the sloths. We've got the... I'll show you all three options. They're all the same price. We've got the sloths. We've got the blue dots. And we've got the little houses as well. So all of those. Uh, that one's called floral. Which one do you want to start with, Hayley? We'll start with the floral one. Now, I've actually got... Um, I don't know where I've put them notes about this. Oh, yes, because this is something that's really, really different. If you are going to workshops, when we can go back to our workshops and we can start going to classes, maybe you're just new to us here at Sewing Street and you're starting out your quilting journey and you're thinking, right, once all of this is over, I'm going to search a local quilting class. Uh, it's, it's a really, really lovely community. And go onto our Sewing Street fan page and you'll find lots of like-minded people that are also always asking for help or showing projects. It's brilliant. But talking of workshops and going on the move, this is brilliant because it's so portable and it's actually four in one so the outer part of it this lovely print here is actually your pressing mat so both sides it's a pressing mat and if you open it out put it down you've then got a larger area but this is ideal isn't it your pressing mat is ideal for pressing your seams pressing each uh, each of your blocks as you're going really handy for that but then I love this. You've got your cutting mat to one side. 
Brilliant, because you've got all your measurements, you've got your angles, nice and compact, ready to go. You've then also got your velour sheet, which is in the middle here, uh, and that's ideal for laying out your blocks. Uh, like a, a design wall really that's good to just keep it that it's going to it, it kind of sort of sticks to it it doesn't stick to it obviously but it adheres to it you needed that didn't you when you needed your block because the wind kept blowing your pieces <laughs> that's handy to be able to have that just to use as a bit of a, a design wall to keep your block there or if you are on the move and you you know you're doing a, a, a block and you've sort of positioned it all right You've got it there ready. You can just simply shut it, take it home, and then you know your block is still going to be there and not in pieces, taking ages to put it all back together. Then you've also got your sandpaper. So this part at the back is your sandpaper. Um, now, it's not to file your nails. It's quite a, uh, a, a fine sandpaper. I wouldn't call it coarse. But this is going to stop your fabric from slipping when you're marking out lines on your patterns, when you're just wanting to put a notch in here or there, or if you're wanting to mark out your quarter of an inch seam, it's not going to be slipping and sliding all over the place. So avoiding, you know, not having to use pins or um, pinning them onto your pressing mat, you can simply just place it on there and do any of your marking. So so if you're marking on patterns or marking on your fabric, then it's not going to be slipping all over the place. If you go around templates, it's handy for that as well. I mean, it's brilliant for $14.99. Do you ever get to the point where it's somebody's birthday or it's an occasion coming up and you think, right, what can I get them? What are their hobbies? And it's always difficult when, of course, when, especially right at the moment right now, when we haven't got all of the, the facilities of going out to the shops and having a look. But even when you do get to go into shops and have a look round, it's, it's not every gift shop that you find gifts for sewers, is it? And this is such a useful gift. It's going to be a, a really great useful gift, especially if someone's doing projects on the move, taking things outside into the garden and wanting to do a bit of cutting and pressing as well. Just $14.99. I think it's a really fabulous price. I honestly thought this was going to be a lot more expensive when we got these in. Um, it's really lovely. I've had a nice message from Maureen. Hello, Maureen. Hope you're well. I said thanks for keeping us going. Thank you for keeping us going as well. Can I ask, after John's incredible design roll race, are you going to get large sizes of wadding so we can all finish up our quilts? Again, thank you. Such in Oh, Maureen. Yes, we will. We'll definitely get some um, big wadding in for that very, very soon. In time for week, I think it's week 12, isn't it, that it's all finishing the quilt, wadding and binding and everything. We'll have it before then um, so you can get all stocked up. Exciting, it's brilliant, isn't it? I love the fact that we're doing sort of block of the week. It keeps it really fresh and it gives us something to do. One, uh, it, it, we don't have to wait a whole year to finish a quilt, but also we've got the time now. Once the one block's finished, you can think, right, I can get on to the next one now and I've got to get it done for next Friday uh, to sew along with John, which of course you don't have to. If you haven't started block of the week, watch it back on YouTube. You can get involved. Every Friday at 10, you can watch John Cole Morgan, nine, sorry, nine o'clock. Um, you can watch John Cole Morgan and the Sew Along. Any questions for him, he's brilliant on social media. I'm so bad on my photo, on social media, but he's brilliant at getting, uh, do make sure you message him and he'll get back to you with any questions that you might have. Um, okay, so that's the floral. We've got spots. Blue spots, this is so cute, isn't it? Maybe if you're thinking, right, I'm not sure which design to go for for a gift for somebody, uh, you can't go wrong with this one. And exactly like the other, you've got your pressing mat, your cutting mat, four in one. You've got like your design wall, your velour sheet for your design wall. And then you've also got your sandpaper there for uh, placing your fabric on so it's not going to be slipping and sliding when you're marking out your seam allowance, when you're making, uh, you know, extra marks for the transferring uh, pattern. You know, when you've got a pattern and it's saying, add this notch here, or uh, you have to sort of, transfer all of those notches and all of those markings onto your fabric and it can be slipping all over the place. That's going to be ideal to stop that slipping. $14.99, another brilliant, brilliant price point. And you've got your pressing mat on both sides, which of course then 
Yeah, you can open out and press either side. 13 by 24, so it's portable, great for on the go. Uh, when I first started and I was going to my classes, I was taking my cutting mat, I was taking my iron and my pressing mat, and you're taking everything with you and it can just get too much. This is so portable. This is designed by somebody who needed uh, everything all in one. But the great thing about it is all of these, the sloth one as well, it's gorgeous, isn't it? We love the sloth one. Um, the great thing about it is it isn't almost like one of those novelties where actually you're not going to use that or you don't really need that or that one isn't very good for that. It, it, they're all serving their purpose and doing them very, very well. So your pressing mat is lovely quality. You, it, the fabric on the surface is just so cute. Your cutting mat. You're going to use it all the time. Uh, the velour sheet is really, really handy to have to be able to place out your block and it to be able to stay there. And the sandpaper part, I think this is one of those books that you don't realise how much you will utilise this part if you've never used it before, how, uh, how helpful that is for you. Time saving, but also we're going back to that word precision and accuracy to help with your accuracy. It's just convenient, isn't it? I, we're very limited on the sloth one. I don't have a very big sewing space. I sew on the dining room table. I have to put it all away. I do, and I've promised Kieran if I get everything out, I promise I will put it all away in time for tea time. Um, so it's good to be able to, if you've got your machine set up and you don't want to get the family ironing board out and the big iron and you don't want to get your big cutting mat because you just want to do a quick hour of sewing or pressing or cutting, this is so handy to be able to then just put all of your block, your fabric in there and put it away without getting into a big mess. This is ideal for me, $14.99. It's like a lovely, um, I don't know whether it's canvas, it's a, it's a cotton on the top, but it's really lovely and thick. It's not going to be something that's going to, you're not going to burn through holes when you're pressing. It's really lovely quality. £14.99. Talking of pressing, we have to do freezer paper before we go as well. Please, please, please do not let us forget that. Best press. Uh, we literally launched this the other day. It came back, it came into stock because we only had the uh, lavender and I don't know whether we've had linen, but we've never had scent free. This is just $11.99 today. It is your scent free. Biggest bottle that is available, your best press with your, uh, it's got a lovely spray pump, which sounds silly, but the reason I say that is because I've tried other starch sprays before that soak your fabric. This has got a lovely fine mist that evenly distributes your spray. Uh, so why do you need best press? Where would you use best press? If you're working with uh, bias edges, so if you're cutting on the bias, bias binding, if you're working on curves, if you're handling your fabric or if you are pressing your fabric, you are likely to warp it. You're likely to distort the shape of it. So just giving it a spritz of this, uh, I mean, it's, it's up to you whether you pre-wash your fabric. I don't really, I don't tend to wash it before I start sewing with it, but I do give it a good spray of Best Press before I iron. Uh, and one, because it gets out really stubborn creases, especially some of the fat quarters that you get, they can have quite stubborn creases. This is gonna help with that. And it doesn't leave any clogging or flaking on your fabric. If you're working with a dark liberty, like your navy blue and you're thinking it's going to leave white marks or it's going to leave flaking it doesn't it's brilliant I've got obsessed with this. This has now become a staple part of my ironing routine. Um, whether it be pressing with my seams with quilting, whether it be dressmaking, this is brilliant. But also if you're ironing shirts and trousers and clothes, I love the big bottle. I think it's great to have the larger size, especially for $11.99 because you are going to use it. And it's scent free. Don't get me wrong. I love the smell of the lavender. I love the smell of the linen. But sometimes not everybody wants the different scents. It's brilliant. So absolutely have a go with it. Even if you haven't got on with starch sprays in the past, I recommend having a go with Best Press. That's a brilliant, brilliant brand. Uh, we've also got freezer paper, which I know that we haven't got very long left. So I do just quickly want to bring this in. I found last night on Pinterest, let me get this correct. I want to say 132 ways of using freezer paper in crafts 
on Pinterest. Google it, have a look. 132 ways of using freezer paper. Um, the way it sort of works is that it's got a slight sort of plastic, very thin coating on the one side. Can you see it's shiny? The other side isn't shiny. You can then use this with a, you know, a, a light iron and you can almost adhere it to your fabric without it leaving anything sticky on your fabric. You can easily remove it, but it will temporarily stick to your fabric without leaving a trace. You can use it as a stabilizer to cut out felt pieces. Uh, you can use it for stenciling. You can use it with your applique. There's so many different uses for this with crafts. And it's very, very difficult to get here in the UK. It is an American product. So we're really lucky that we've got it at this price. The only other places I found it online were actually um, uh, in America, I couldn't get it shipped and the shipping costs were supposed to be huge. So please do make the most of that whilst it's in stock because I think we've got 22 of them left. That's it. Um, and we will order more. It's always going to be popular here, but um, stock up. If I were you, I'd buy a couple of rolls at £6.49. You're only paying one P&P and you get uh, 50 square feet on there for just £6.49. It is brilliant. One of my favourite products and I could, again, you'll see it used a lot on the show. That's just £6.49. Debbie is up tomorrow and uh, she's got another brilliant, brilliant show for you lined up. We've got 8am workroom tours. Don't forget to tune in 8am for the early bird. It's going to be another great special tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Uh, the early bird is really good tomorrow. Don't say I didn't warn you. If you want some more fabric, oh, it's going to be brilliant. At nine o'clock, uh, we're going to bring you great fabrics, some brilliant prices, and I'm sure Debbie Shaw will give you lots of great information and inspiration of how to use your fabrics. At 10 o'clock, we've got Creative Grids Roundup Tool, so another Creative Grid. If you are, uh, are loving the rulers, if you're wanting to learn more about them, then the Roundup Tool is on there. And also, you know how uh, Debbie Shaw absolutely loves the 720 Pro. She knows so much about it. So if you've got any questions about it, get them into our Facebook page and hopefully she'll be able to answer those at 10 o'clock for you. Thank you so much for all of your messages. It's been amazing to have your company. Don't forget, keep posting your pictures on the fan page. It really does make us all smile. Thank you, Hayley. You've been amazing. It's lovely to have Hayley back in my ear. And Joe as well. Thanks to the team here at Sewing Street. Please do make sure you stay tuned and watch yesterday's show if you missed it. Stay in touch. Stay well. Stay safe. Debbie's going to see you tomorrow. I'll see you for my birthday show on Thursday. See you then.